up you saying I am hold on a second I spent a slightly inordinate amount of time getting the stream set up, and it's probably going to go completely unappreciated. But um, it was uh, it was it was worth it. I was I had to do it. So um, before I get stuck in it, actually, here's what we're going to do. We're going to open up a seven star because I can do that. That is the thing I can do. Uh, and we're going to burn a touch of uh, energy, too. So. Your ears. Psh. I think I care about your ears. Um, let's hope not. What's up, Noisy? What is up, guys? Um, so just, uh, auto will be fine. Um, so I'm going to start with a 7 star, because I can do that. Because uh, that will either even up my arena teams for doing this, or we get a dupe. Either way, I could be a win, could be a first time, to who knows. Ideally new champion for the even teams, uh, but I would love like a great first time awakening too. I would also not mind that, so there's always that. So we're gonna start with the 7 star. Oh, shoot. That uh, is inaccurate. Okay, that was from last time. Hawkeye oh, dupe. Yeah, I'm going to open up a 7 star. That is a thing I'm going to do. So we're going to go to... Uh, I'm 500 shards short. And if I had done incursions properly, we'd be set. But um, it's whatever, so we're just going to buy... Juan... Adiz. And uh, open up real quick. So that's where we're going to start today. Uh, come on, baby. There's so many good, like, potential new champs. Oh, geez, what the heck happened there? There's also a lot of good, like, first time dupes. Anybody that doesn't, like, benefit massively from extra sigs or is already awakened. I don't think there's anybody that I have that really benefits massively from extra sigs, so. Uh, but we'll see what we get. Like a Domino, dude, Domino would be, like, amazing. Oh, dude, right in a silk sandwich. That sucks. Oh, that sucks. Dude, silk would have been great. It's like 40. Oh, well. We tried. We tried 8,000 uh, 7 star shards away now. Or Titan shards, rather. Well, that's unfortunate. Well, let's uh, do the arena then. We doing good. Uh, I was just saying, I spent a slightly inordinate amount of time setting up the stream. Um. It's likely going to go completely unappreciated. But I, just, I had the idea, and I just I had to do it, so... 
there's you know Easter egg in there. So it, if you if you go through it, it sh it should be pretty obvious to recognize how much it's actually appreciated. That's uh, another matter. But an auto band rank three. Oh, who did you do zero? Who did you do? What did you do? I would have preferred a Hawkeye dupe, actually, because that would have been a first-time dupe. Rocket, it does kind of benefit from the SIGs, but, like, I don't use them. Proud of grind, yeah. We're gonna try. I'm a little bit behind, um, so it's gonna be a, kind of a late night, but that's okay. I just kind of felt like... I don't even know if I'm gonna rank him up, but I'm gonna be like, I'll have that option. Domino. See, I also have a rank 3 Domino, but mine's not awakened, so... Probably not gonna get banned. I mean, it's possible. I've banned big rank 3s before, so... We'll just see how it goes. 660. Oof. Did you give her any of SIGs, or is that just, like, natural? I think if once I dupe her, I think I might just give her some give her the SIGs. Well, shouldn't she be at like an odd amount then? Because there was, there was only 10x magical ones, but there was like 20 generics. So shouldn't shouldn't be at she be at like 70 then? Not 60. You stay here and do another. That's outside of my control. That that'd be on you, Gabar. Just saying. But uh, I'm I'm gonna wait patiently to see if anybody um, recognizes it and and at least acknowledges, if not like a, appreciates the little uh, uh, the thing I did. I mean, I have a fairly long standing of, of doing stuff like this, but it like it goes for, for ah, gotcha. You're missing those. To the, gotcha, gotcha. It makes sense. All yours went for prestige, so you threw them all into gambit. Toof. That's disgusting. A Da Vinci? What? Reverse handwriting? Wait, what? Uh... Yeah, that also probably would have taken a slightly inordinate amount of time. I'm being purposely vague, but, uh, you know, I, I set things up with my titles and stuff to, to be, you know, they're not, like, entirely random. They have their meaning to them. They're, like, plays on words. There's something, I, they're, they're clever. You know, I appreciate it. Um, yummy chili dog. Ooh, chili dogs are good. Well, Prestige-wise, maybe. I yeah. To be fair, that's that's true. Zero. That's true. Uh, well, the stream's just going, so we're we're trying to just build up the run here. I'm gonna try and go for Prowler. He I seemed to go low round one, and round two has been statistic well consist like consist consistently lower in round two. Um, 
Uh, let me see if it actually got posted here. Uh, what the cutoff was. Because it seemed lower than what I would have thought. Yeah, dude, he went so low. Dude, 110 was 348. I could tell just from where I placed in the score I put up that... Uh, uh, that he went lower. Like, I could just tell. Because I placed like 800 something with like 37 million. I was like, dang, he went low. Um, so, yeah, and, and round two is consistently lower than round one. Um, dude, White Tiger. Bomb. Dude, White Tiger was so low. Bullseye was high, but, like, again, still lower round two. It's very consistently, like, 10% lower in round two. Um, it's weird, man. You do you have more champs than I do, Tooth? I've got a thousand or thirteen oh nine. You have more than that? I mean that's not impossible, I just champs I'm missing, but Oh, zero. Four, 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 and what? Zero, zero. Twenty K Titans out of the raid chest. Cheese! The account ruined. Exactly. A Q raid, bro. Or Q. A B word. What? Yeah. <laughs> Statistically better. Yeah. Exactly. It's gonna be a long stream though, so we'll see if anybody picks up on. Uh, well, it's less of a pickup, and it's, it already exists. Just if anybody appreciates it. Uh, of, of my existence. Okay. Um. Uh, well, I see a dang a, a big daddy a stream. Did you have a? A message before that that I missed. Uh, not that I see. So, yeah. That was it. Yeah. Yeah, I knew that was happening. I mean, that's subjective. I mean, some people's goal is to just collect champions, but... It's this... <laughs> um... Man, it depends on, like, how old your account is. It's like, realistically, if I started an account today and just spent, a, you know, a crap ton of money, I could have a better account than someone that has more champions just because they happen to have more of the two, three, four, maybe even five stars, but if I end up with more six and seven stars, whose account is actually better, you know? It's, um, yeah. Play for rewards and fun, because it's fun getting rewards. It's kind of cyclical, but... <laughs> like, settle down. You might be good. Well, if we can all agree that mine sucks, then, uh, then problem solved. Yeah, exactly. 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 Ooh. 
It's gonna be a long day. But I, oh, but I need to get through enough six stars so I can get the seven stars on cooldown. And I'm gonna have to subjectively R3 k I mean, you're not wrong because that's subjective. Um, objectively, it's not terrible, and he has insane prestige. But to each his own, being subjective. So. Prestige wise, yeah, yeah, for sure, 100%, Tooth. I mean, outside of prestige, because my prestige sucks compared to yours, mine's also a, a, an objectively insane account for free to play, you know? It, just, it depends on how what you're measuring and how you measure it. I mean, if you if you only cared about prestige, you'd have champs ranked up potentially that realistically not that great. For, for strongest team, I never tried building like a strongest team like that before. Cause part of that is like just messing about with masteries and like just the biggest champs you possibly could have, uh, uh, and if they synergize together and just giving the most PI, I think boost potentially might count too. I'm not 100 sure on that. Uh, it doesn't matter how many units you have, AB, because units, uh, spring cleaning doesn't have a unit offers. All that matters is that you have units for July 4th. <laughs> so you're just hating. <laughs> uh, I mean, that's distinctly possible, too. Let's see. It's not bad. It depends on... Because it's usually the way it's set up has been, you know, like... Like 15k, and then like a bonus 3k, so like 18,000 minimum. 36k for last year, like maxed it out, because you could like go through the cycle twice. Plus, if you spent that much, you got bonuses for how much you spent. Um, so it depends on how they set it up, like what'll actually be really good. I'll have 36k before then. I literally tapped myself out though. Like that was all of my units last year. Um, I'm actually gonna have. I should have more than that, because if I opened up and got decently lucky from the um, the 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 battle chips I have, I should be about 36k right now. It's not even including the extra two and a half months of uh, of uh, the arena. So, but again, it depends on the battle chips can't necessarily count on the metal chips. Could be good, could get basically nothing for them, but we'll see. We're over 3 million battle chips right now, so we'll get a th another 100 crystals here uh, before the July 4th opening. And hopefully get, you know, because ideally 5 million is like roughly 10k units. Um, but, you know, it could get I mean, a minimum I would want like 8k, but I've gotten less than that out of 5 million before, so. Just kind of depends. But yeah, last, last July 4th was brutal. Brutal! went 
too early. Ugh. I'm kind of hoping it's less than that, though, because that was just so expensive. If I could, like, buy everything that I would want to buy and only spend, like, 25, I think that would be, like, perfect. Just so long as it's less, because, like, it was brutally expensive. Live my life in the one you sent me there. Yeah, live my life in the one you sent me there. I will say this though, a hint um, for the little the thing is uh, it has to do with music, which should be pretty obvious. I would hope to think so. Um, well, maybe not. It may not be actually that obvious, but I think I did it pretty well. What's up, penguin? If you, if you can get the tune I was going for, um, I mean, that also should actually be pretty obvious because of the way I, I did it. it so it, it actually should be fairly obvious. Oh, like, for sure. Like... I mean, people, like, passed up on Cyber more than, like, ever, I, that I thought. At least that was the sentiment on YouTube, that, that, like, people were like, oh, I'm just gonna wait for, you know, the... the Banquet Crystals, because, like, they just were, weren't impressed with Cyber, uh, in, in, because, like, they were trying to, like, compare it to, like, how... because, like, they were still good. Like, I still spent a lot of units, uh, Cyber. Because I was like, that's like guaranteed value. I know what I'm getting rather than random crystals that, okay, could be interesting, but like weren't had no guaranteed value, you know? So I, I think the real test will be what spring cleaning has. Because spring cleaning was, I think, was pretty good last year too. But that also just got blown out of the water by, by July 4th. So they need to be very, very careful not to have... Spring, like, it needs to be enticing enough for people to want to spend, obviously, because that's important. But they have to be very careful to not, like, give out too much, you know? But seeing as it's, like, gonna be something, like, immediately after what everybody just pulled, after finishing up, you know, um, after finishing Act 8, like, people are gonna want you know, probably a couple of new rank 3s as a, as a part of it, which would be a lot, quite frankly. But also at the same time, almost necessary, because, like, you know, if it didn't, like, what would be the point for the people that, you know, have done everything spent before and just have, you know, eight, eight, you know, already eight or so, maybe, rank 4s after doing uh, Act 8. And, uh, you know, if they, aren't, if they aren't getting at least another, like, maybe two, like, they're not going to spend that much, but, like, two would be a lot, because, like, you know, it's only for cash. Anyway. Uh, so, uh, Jeremy B., uh, busy working, but your singer reminded me of the Carmen Dawson's Creek song. I have no idea who that is. Not by name, anyway. I'm terrible with names, so that's... Anyway. But, uh, well, I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing that I that the recognition of that was the case, but, uh... If it, if it was a good thing, then compliment, I guess? Uh, shoot. But, uh, thank you.
For BG and Brela, uh, let's see, seven jump chains for from April four, rank five ascendant onslaught, Kate, and then rank five thing, Red Skull. Uh, for next drive, six stars saving. Uh, uh, next rank five, six stars are saving your your, and that's gonna be how it, the case is for some people. A B. Um, that's it's a bit rough doing it that way because like they take the same resources and then. You don't want to be ranking up, especially if they exist as a seven star, because you don't want to. I personally don't want to like rank up a, a five or like a six star. Uh, to 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 the rank five and and ascension especially, um, because ascensions are still rare enough. As ascensions become more, um, like it might be worth like doing rank fours and ascending, uh, six stars to get them like slightly above a rank five without putting in the rank five seven star kind of resources into them potentially um that's like if you're caught up enough with um you know most of the six stars already maxed out and ascended that don't exist as seven stars you know and the, and are worth ranking up because there's obviously some that don't exist as seven stars uh but i i don't feel are worth ranking up um so Cartman. Gotcha, South Park. Yeah, I don't watch that thing. Ooh. Cartman. Did I read that wrong the first time? Or did you... No, you're missing the, the T. Okay. So it wasn't just me. Good. I was like, wait a minute. You definitely, I definitely read Cartman there, but I was like, Cartman was when I first read it. Anywho. Yeah. Kushala. I was considering, just because of how strong she is specifically, like, I was considering ranking her up uh, if I hadn't gotten the seven star. Um, because I like her a lot, too. Like, she's so good. And technically, a rank five ascended high sig would be offensively better um, oops, than my rank two seven star. Um, technically, on, on average. Uh, this was a dumb idea. You're not dead. I'm dead. Uh, let's see. Rank two destroyers. If I had pulled them, I probably would have ranked them up. Um, but I, I'm a little bit like I want to. There's so much Mystic I want to do right now, and I just I don't have the ISO for it all. Like I still haven't even leveled up White Tiger, uh, but I have the resources to rank two her now. But I don't have the Mystic ISO for it because I'd have to max out rank one, which is expensive and then rank two like I, I would run out of mystic iso yo what's up j will all right i need to not die here so hold on hold that thought a second crap well we lost the streak good lovely oh my gosh oh my gosh That's really bad. It's very unfortunate. <laughs> I'm trying to get the streak so I can run through my seven stars because I can get them on cooldown. Die dies here exactly. That was that was terrible. I was uh, a little bit too lax in that because I using the rank ones that low. I should have switched to rank twos or something. That was that was pretty sad. Uh, but uh, what's up? What's up, Jay? Well, have you been have you doing been doing uh, some BGs yet this season? Or are you taking it slow right now? Uh, I'm have I need to do some today because like the I need to do the objectives before they reset tomorrow. So I need to play at least I need to win at least three matches, 
I'll get that done at some point. Whether whether I'd like to do it on a stream if, if we get around to it, but uh, it's already going to be a long day, so we'll, we'll see. I might might uh, might have to take care of that off stream. We'll see. I've actually yet to play any since I did the extra rank three rank ups, so um, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Uh, be be interesting to see if I get more like quit outs on me. Yeah, I need to check. I'll have to check on raids. I'm more of like a backup for the right side, is what I've been at least anyway. So it, I'm not overly concerned about it. Plus, because of the way it's been working, like I have I have seven revives in my inventory, and I have will be able to buy seven. So like I've got 14 to use immediately, basically, and then I can max out the inventory again in three in three and a half days. So that's like not really of any concern. Try and cush and raise. I don't think that's a great idea, Zero. Like uh, just the way she works. Um, when when Sim and uh, Bitter and who else was it? Was it MSD? Uh, did their like preview and on like the the beta, one of them used Kush and was just having kind of a rough time of it. Uh, loyalty, AB. I, I have no need for the amount of loyalty I have, so... Um... And any any of extra I've needed has just been uh, Darth Ghost uh, and Lizer. Dang, Penguin. Good good chance. Uh, seven store shards, not directly. It uh, tooth the um, the seven star shards you get from the side quest are via the store. So if you haven't bought them already before, because it'll it'll reset on Wednesday. So, four revives. Why would you use any revives? We can just keep trying different champions. And why not use a science champion for it? Just keep retry. It's one energy to get to the fight. I would keep retrying until you get the solo. No, it's definitely not worth using incursion artifacts. That's that's super wasteful. No. That would only be the case in the other one. If you, if you enter the quest with a key, that key is used on entry of the quest. If you're going through a gate inside the quest, that's refunded to you. Um, that's the distinction. <laughs> if, if, it, if it takes a key to enter the quest, that's used on entry. If it's if it's a gate inside a quest, then then you can restart just fine. So like it, the other one that gives you the keys takes its own key from from the objectives. That quest you have to complete, otherwise the key is lost. Um, but the other one doesn't take a key to enter the quest. It takes a key once you're already inside the quest. Yeah, I mean, fair enough. It, that, it, that's explicitly the reason why you could kind of, in a, in a sense, cheese 
last month's side quest with with the objectives because the keys weren't used on entry they were used on a gate inside the quest um which it explicitly tells you when you pass the gate that resources spent on the gate are consumed uh, but if you don't if like when you complete the quest or like on all like on going through but if you, if you don't complete the quest it's it's refunded like it's, it tells you that when you whenever you go through a class gate or a, a key gate a keyed gate but I mean, no I'm not I'm nowhere close to it I, I don't want to be in GC the first several days, so. Completed the silly. Yeah, exactly. Penguin, because that was exactly the explicit reason. Yeah, a locked gate. Where am I? I'm in Diamond 1. So I've got... I need 15 straight wins would get me the GC. It's not impossible that that would happen, but it's highly unlikely that I would get 15 straight wins. I'm already on like a 9 win streak, so... But I shouldn't lose more than like... maybe 3 more matches on the way through. I would imagine. So it'll take me maybe 18, 19 more more rounds. Depends on if my losses cost me a, a um, well actually if, if it do cost me, it could take me more than 20 like rounds because if, if, if it loses me a token or something. So Uh, losing a lot in Vibrating 3? Dang. Push to C4. We'll see. Like, if I'm doing exceptionally well, and it seems reasonable, I, I will 100% climb as high as possible. You keep dropping down to no medals. Yeah, some people struggle like that, dude. Guy in the Alliance, like, has a rough time of getting to the GC each season, because, like, that same thing will happen. Like, he'll get within one and then just lose all of them. Like, my deck is such that we should real realistically be able to hit, you know, that kind of mark. Um, but we'll, we'll see what kind of win winning we got. Generally, one of the problems that I don't want to, like, climb up that high that fast is it just makes it take longer to play matches. Because once you're that high, like, it takes forever to find matches. Close to your fourth, nice. Very nice. Um, have you already done all the possible paths uh, with having three seven stars um, in the shooting stars quest, Chief? Because I'm pretty sure you get extra seven star shards for each time, each path you do. And that might get you slightly closer. And then if you have once you have a fourth, you can do another path and get slightly more. So uh, yeah, I would double check that. If you haven't already. Skulls! Yo, what's up? Frimley, uh, I'm going to be very busy in the arena. Uh, zero, so I'm just not going to have the time. I do need to do a few ranked matches just for the objectives. 
Uh, I'm just I'm just simply not gonna have the time. Really? You son. Yeah, if you because there's because there should be a path that requires one one seven star, two seven star, and three seven star, and then there's a path that requires four and then five to actually 100% the quest. Uh, but you should get seven star shards if you haven't done the, the the gate that requires you to have at least three seven stars. Plus that should give you a paragon too, which would at the very least be some ISO. Potentially a 7 star from Paragon. Unlikely though that may be, but hey. <laughs> so you're saying there's a chance! Exactly. Barely you had that on the time. You know, Maestro, dang. We'll see, I think Maestro is our second face. I think we do Thanos, Maestro, then Kang, I believe is ours on the right side. Something like that. We'll see. This is terrible. But yeah, no problem, Chief. That's uh that's what the YouTubes are for, to spread the knowledge of the things. All the things. I have a pretty, pretty high knowledge base myself. And there's, you know, people in here. Who also have the knowledge? Sometimes it's a matter of recall, though. But yeah, that's that's pretty impressive, though. Skull two two raids like as a duo. The the way they made it so much ridiculously easier to do raids with the changes they made, it was astonishing. The first, the first iteration of raids was kind of miserable, uh, and ever since they've made the adjustments a bajillion times more smooth um, and less frustrating. They have learning disorders. <laughs> uh, I'm the one with the disorder, if anybody, man. Like friggin'. With 6k elders left, dang. Are you are you saving any, or are you just going for a high score this season? Uh, he's saying. Well, I imagine because of the rewards change, like scores are going to be higher as a result. How much higher? Because about. About 500k solo is is like minimum needed for top 500. The last like several seasons, I imagine that's gonna be slightly higher. Yeah, some of our shards would be huge. That would give you, because there's seven and a half thousand in all the milestones, so that would give you a seven star. That's pretty nice. I'll only be halfway there because I just bought, I just, you know, opened a seven star. So OCD doesn't count. I, I'm not actually diagnosed with anything, um, but I can just tell, you know, that there's there's it's something, you know combination of like just fragments of OCD, ADD, ADHD, I don't even know. Like it's I'm sure you could tell. I could I, I mean it's it feels like it should be pretty obvious at least. I 
I don't know. If it's not, I don't know. But, uh... I I'm, I'm definitely have certain OCD tendencies. <laughs> it's not that bad. It's not, like, excessive, but... Yeah, it's exactly. There's a distinct possibility I'm on that spectrum somewhere. Um, but uh, I'm not actually diagnosed with any of them. So. But that's fine. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter to me if I am or not, quite frankly. If I am, I am, and if I'm, it's like, knowing that, like, 100%, like, it, it doesn't change the fact if I am or not. So, it's like, it, it literally doesn't bother me in the slightest. Um, but, uh, yeah. It's like only like a slight curiosity, but it doesn't actually change anything, so. It doesn't 100% particularly matter. Right. Ugh. Dude, I wanted to be started the seven stars like freaking half an hour ago. This is annoying. I had to be so close and then lose the entirety of the streak. Like, that's so bad. Again, like, it's distinctly possible. But yeah, everyone has their, their own, like, quirks and personalities and stuff. That's, I mean, that's always, that's like the Monday thing. Um, technically not always. It, it, before, like, I like Monday better. I, it was like Monday uh, with like a space. Um, but we have Tuesday, Tuesday is in like the number two. Uh, separate out. Wednesday is Wednesday. Uh, Thursday is Thursday. Friday is Fry. Like F F uh, R Y Friday. Um, huh? If he does degen instead of bleed, if they're bleed immune, zero. That's always been a thing. I was fighting Warlock. He's bleed immune, so he gets degen instead. At like I think 75% potency or whatever the number is. It's 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 like yay, but it's like it's not equivalent potency, so it's like whatever. Um The more you know. It's part of the, the vast knowledge base of useless information I have, so. Dad joke, yeah. I love dad jokes, they're, they're quite great. Uh, similarly, um, one of the things I really like about uh, Venom Pool is he does a very similar thing. He has a synergy for uh, any bleed immune to, to do degen instead of bleed. However, in his base kit, he does degen versus any robot instead of bleed. Um, so, he's still good for robot bleed immunes because he causes degen to it. Uh, 
uh, and Venom Pool is just a lot of fun to use, quite frankly. Like, I took him up to rank 3, like, pretty early on in the, um, of my rank 3s, but he never went, ended up going above that. Uh, Ultron... Yo, G Venom needs that right? Um, Ultron... He might have a, some kind of synergy. Um... Uh, Ultron? No, he's not DJ, I mean. Um, I need to run some rank 2s or something, because the rank 1s are just getting me shafted here. Um, no, he's not I mean to DJ. Nobody is straight immune to DJ. Um, there's a bunch of champions that have a resistance to it at some level, but there's nobody actually straight immune to it. Um, this is... Okay, we're going to do it this way. Probably dying to that bullseye, but we'll, we'll see. Uh, yes, he does... D he causes degens to get mute instead of bleeds. That is true. Specifically, mostly helpful against, like, um, uh, well, technically versus, like, Storm as well, like, OG Storm, since that would, like, causing bleed to her would ramp her up. Um, but also useful uh, for, like, a bishop, because bleeding bishop is bad. Um, technically, in his case, it wouldn't be that awful, because, like, you're not giving him any uh, prowess unless you uh, uh, use a special on him with a special 2 and so wouldn't be like the worst thing to still be bleeding him but like it still wouldn't be great yeah Ultron has a, has a particular ability yeah. Uh, also yeah the bleed shrug versus domino Yep. Uh, and none of his, like, function abilities can fail, but it can fail, like, the dexterity and your your parry, but it won't, like, fail fail the, uh, the armor on parry. So it's not, like, a double chance. Um, but if it fails, like, the stun, which it can do, then you're still taking, you know, the crit fail and stuff. Domino is weird in, in, in some ways. But I do love Domino, and Domino's fantastic. Alright, the reason I did it this way, so what we want to do is we want to get him to um, do that. Ouchie mama. Okay, we died. I didn't know that was going to straight kill me. If he was rank 3, I probably would have survived, but... Oh well. Oh, Devel. I was like, I'll get him to evade, then I'll have him down, get the cruelty, then I'll do more damage, but yeah, that's what Well, 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 yep. Exactly. That was terrible. That was truly atrocious. Come on. Seven Star Corvus. I mean, if it's all out of spring cleaning, I, I didn't watch the video, but I saw the thumbnail. Uh, KT of KT's video. Um, I think it's kind of cool, um, especially since he like only needs the dupe for like the immortality thing, uh, which is like a nice to have. He doesn't otherwise need it, like strictly speaking. Um, so I actually kind of like that he'll he'll be a seven star, quite frankly, if if he is. Uh, I mean, we'll find out next update because like all the champions that'll be. Uh, well, actually, maybe... Wait, hold on. That actually doesn't make sense. Because if Spring Cleaning comes out... Um, this update, and that's actually a thing... 
then we would already know in the game files because it would show like as possible champions um, those specific several champions available as seven stars, which they aren't. So I don't know. I, di I didn't actually look at the like I said. I didn't actually watch the video. So, um, but thinking about that, it does make it actually seem kind of odd. I mean, it seems kind of weird for them to plan it out that way. Because, like, we found out about the the Starkey, um, um, like, in, in the, the this, like, Starkey, Masakri, and Spy 29, which we thought were getting added to the Titan, but they weren't. Uh, they were as part of the challenges, but that, those came, like, way later. And we end up getting different. Anyway. Uh, next month's I, I mean, who knows? Who knows? I didn't watch the video, so I'm not sure, like, what details, like, he shared of, like, where these were found out about. Or, or, or whatever. So, I, I have no idea. But, um, could be interesting. Um, if, if there is, is anything, like, you, I don't think they should do that. Because it does exclude the free-to-play from having any chance at, at any opportunity of it. Um, um, but I don't think... Uh, shoot, that was wrecked. Um, so, we'll, we'll, we'll see. We shall see. But um, seven stars are just so strong. It's it's like they have to be careful, like putting certain champions. Like honestly, with how strong, like ridic kind of ridiculous he is, I don't think Juggernaut should have made it as a seven star. Not as early as he did, anyway. He's just like ridiculously stupid. Uh, I mean, arguably, be arguably almost the same thing for Hulk because of like his just his damage is stupid. Plus, he has just, like like the stupid the amount of damage he can do without his opponent, like just stunning down. Um, I have to be very careful. Dang. Um, it's like absurd. Like at rank three, I mean, he can do like over half a million damage without the opponent having the opportunity to literally do anything. Um, it, it's kind of ridiculous. Yo, what's up, Masakure? Go, man. Oh, shoot. Didn't realize I was in block there. I never used this dude. Duped your sunspot. Nice ish, I guess. I don't know. Like, a single dupe really doesn't affect him offensively, like, at all. Uh, it just ups his PI by like a lot. Yeah, ex exactly, dude. We also got Colossus instead of like Toad. So, I don't know, like... It's not the brightest community, if we're being honest. Uh, what dude did had a had a spot on the UP? Uh, Shang Chi.
Oh, Icarus. Yeah, kind of. Kind of, sort of. I mean, if you got the if you have the two star and have like four out of the five possible Zemos, like it shouldn't be that bad. Um, it's only be at least four. Okay, throw. Thank you. Come on, clap, bro. Dude, Chavez, go. <laughs> Chavez is stupid. Ouch, no. Okay. Clapped in three hits. Thank you. Like six three stars. I'm not missing any. Not out of not out of, that exist like in the crystals at least. Which took forever to finally have that be the case. All right, just for the sake of not accidentally getting clapped on the final round, we're gonna just do this with the seven star, the bottom of seven stars. Uh, oops. Which would be these two, and a rank four. Um. Okay, I need to reset the filters clearly. Yeah. All right. There we go. Yeah, right, exactly. Like, come on, man. What's up, Osman? We're so late on getting these seven stars used. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna be able to use them again until like so late tonight. I'm gonna be so tired. We'll, we'll get it crawled back early enough that it'll, it'll be fine. As long as I do them properly, we should be all right. Yeah, but I have all the three stars and they're all maxed. Apart from like their SIG, but they're all max ranked. Anyway. Yeah, that's that sounds about right. Like the chests are just so random. Like there's a potential that they could be good, but there's also like you just get nothing worthwhile of them. Uh, BG, I haven't tried grinding really re realistically I haven't played since I did I played on uh, Friday Dude, she hit so hard on like her base she's not even leveled <laughs> So, um, yeah, I, I need to do at least the objectives today because they reset tomorrow, but we will, uh, clap these guys. Uh, victory track. I've only played 18 matches, and it takes a minimum of 27, so... I am, I'm 15 straight wins from the GC right now. So the odds of me doing it in actually 15 matches, fairly unlikely.
I don't... Generally speaking, I, I don't get uh, 15 more bullyings, right? Uh, I generally don't get to GC until after the first week. I don't like hitting it like within like the first few days. Ooh, clapped. It was a 19k medium, bro. I mean, that was assassins and you know everything, but jeez. Gosh dang! That was filthy. Chavez is OP, man. It's it's kind of wild. There's so many more rank threes now that it's gonna be rough climbing just because of certain rank threes that are either like defensive or just offensive nukes, you know. There's gonna be a bunch more rank three dominoes. There's gonna be champs like Warlock who can do things offensively and also like fighting him if you're not using like the right kind of champion. You're gonna have a miserable time fighting. I mean, you're gonna probably gonna lose that round. Which uh, which class did you get, Masakri? Cosmic. Ooh. Cosmic has some good options, but it's also kind of a tough chat class to choose from. I think science is also a pretty tough one to choose from because we've got so many like. There's, there's like Hulks, Titania, Pig, Silk, um, Mystic. Um, if you have the champions, like that's also a slightly rough choice. Because um, there's like Kushala, Werewolf, Jug, Sassy, Chavez. Like, there's so many. Yeah. You clipped? Ooh. End of block. Yeah. There's usually always that one. It's like, you have other options, but then it's like one class. They're just like, not most ideal. I definitely didn't get my most ideal. Most ideal would have been like tech or skill. Plus, probably skill for the mantis. Um, but uh, I can't. I can't hate on having the domino. So. Up to you for sure, but what kind of options are you looking at? I mean, I think Null's a solid option if you had a Null. Maestro, I think, is what I would do for Cosmic, personally. There's, Venom's also really solid. It's prestige garbage, though. Um, which, since prestige doesn't matter all that much, a lot of people took a, you know, a Venom anyway. Right, you already have the Maestro Ring 3, so... Um, but, so there's like, there's Venom, there's Surfer for, for Prestige, I wouldn't personally, but... Um, there's... Um, Vox, uh, Gladiator, potentially worth it, Hyperion could be cool. Uh, if he was duped anyway, I don't, I wouldn't do him on Awakened. Um, Cosmic, Cosmic has a couple. That really stand out. Uh, Null, I, w I would say, definitely has potential.
Deathless King Groot even, yeah. Gore, I've seen plenty of rank 3 Gores too. You definitely have the options at least. It's not like it's, it's, it's maybe a tough choice, but at least you have options that are worth the decision. Uh, that's better than like um, pulling a class and just not having a good op like good potential option in the slightest. So I don't know that I personally do Terax. I like he's, he has he does. Some pretty good stuff on offense. Defensively, he can, but like, you know, he can get shut down by a lot of mystics. Uh, Absman specifically just ruins him. Chavez ruins him pretty good as well. He got energy resistance, can heal back some of the damage, and just class advantage just claps him. I think I'd probably go with Gladiator between those three, uh, if that's what you've like narrowed it down to. Cersei could be interesting. I do like Vox. Um, Gladiator has been a lot of fun though. I do like like what he can do. Cersei does have like the offensive capabilities. Uh, potential defender, but again, a lot of Mystics will just shut her down. Um, one nice thing about Cer Cersei, though, oh, though also, oh, one second, um, is um, does that clear it for me? Come on, we clear the notifications, please. Thank you. Um, All right, well, then toss him out as a as a contender. Uh, I haven't played that in forever. I downloaded it as just like an extra thing to do and wasted a crap ton of time in it, and then I I felt like it it like glitched out on me, and I haven't played it since. So I just never deleted it. Gonna be a long day. Well, at least we should be pretty secure in our, our win streak at this point. I like Fox too. I do. Uh, if things go like well in a matchup, he's not actually that slow but he's like a little bit on the slower side because realistically you need to use like at least three potentially four bars of power um like one one to put any dgens on to like start getting some damage a second one to give you extra buffs so that your third special would whether you use a um another special one uh, to launch him off again or a special two like he just takes a lot and it takes a while to get that power because you're generally generally not doing full five at combos because that's an inefficient way of getting the buffs so It just kind of depends on the matchup, potentially, I would say.
He's a decent Maestro option. Yeah, it's not, not the worst. See, I don't think she needs to be duped to be a defender. Because what makes her annoying is the glance. Uh, specifically. She doesn't need the regen, which is all... All realistically the glance gives her. Um, to heal back a slight portion. Which, for mystics, like that's just extra buffs that you're able to feed off of. Uh, if they happen to do get the glance up. So... She prop realistically almost maybe slightly better. Um, uh, as a defender without it, in the case of a mystic. Although realistically, a mystic that you're gonna want to use against her will completely prevent her from getting glancing at all, and therefore doesn't matter that she because she wouldn't get any regen anyway. Um, Get clapped. Uh, Tiger would prevent it. Doom shuts her down. Uh, Jug shuts her off. Um, basically, anybody with a stagger um, shuts her off. It's um, so like Titania could do it. Ouch. Um, funny thing, if you actually do it just right and don't go, if you get just the right amount of fury buffs, she actually does pretty darn well versus thing. If you get too many, you trigger his protection. But if you get just the right amount that you're not hitting too hard, she's actually really good for things. Um, I think you can get up to like maybe five fury, and I think you're okay. If you get more than, if you get like too many, like each hit, like crits, you'll just be doing too hard though. I feel sorry for this dude. Duped seven star colossus. Ouch. She'd probably do ex. We'll watch it now. Never mind. Could be interesting. A lot of, a lot of different champions will shine in, in the right scenario, though. Yeah. Is, do you already have her at rank two? I'm I'm assuming. So I I feel like no no seven star particularly that I ever have in my deck performs all that well. Even if they're like pretty solid at rank two, at rank one they never performed well. Even though they're nearly rank fives. What do you mean chance with RNG? You like put your options on a spinner and spin it? <laughs> um, and just go with whatever it lands on rather than deciding? Yeah. That's the coward's way out! Make the decision yourself!
Come on. <laughs> I don't know. I wouldn't personally want to do it that way. I wouldn't get a crit off if I did it that way. Fudge. Just like... Because if I went through it, then I'd be like... End up... Because I think I would regret... Making the choice more, or, or sorry, regret making the choice less than regretting uh, doing it and then not having made the choice. Um, but that's just me. But that's just me. If that makes any sense, at least. Stupid backing up at the start. This is gonna hurt. Never mind, we're fine. Actually, given how it works, I would have would have been fine having him throw a special one because he wouldn't take any damage from the incinerators. The amount of times I have been sidestepped trying to dash in is absurd. Decide right now, anyway. Gauntlet Sassy was fun. If you had like the right option for it, it was, you know, solo kind of fight. It's just a long fight because he's big sassy, but. Like, my initial, like, whenever I had, like, the keys for, like, actually doing it for those rewards specifically, I always did it with, like, Archangel, and it never was, like, amazing. But I was usually doing it with, like, a, I don't know, rank 3. Maybe I had a rank 4 Archangel at that time, but he might have only been, like, rank 3. And, uh... Because of the way he you use him, like, kind of necessitates you having to, like, parry and block and stuff. Yeah. Fam, fam is just kind of annoying. His his light reach is ridiculous too. Like he he lunges so far forward on his first light. It's not even funny. Itemless, yeah. I kind of wish we had also gotten like keys for doing the 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 Karina's as well. So that for like if you had already done them. Uh, you know, you got something else out, of, out from doing it other than just like, uh, oh, than just like the Karina's itself, having to like go through that quest, but, eh. Yeah, because at least you get some of your six back, yeah. Exactly. Plus a couple other just kind of nice goodies that, uh, you know, just kind of weren't part of what you could have possibly invested um, 
Not that those were like required investments. It was like you could do it with rank threes. You didn't need to take. I didn't need to take anybody to rank four, so it wouldn't have to have cost me any, you know, tier six basic, tier three alpha. But it did because I did all the champions that I didn't have as a seven star. I took up to rank four, and there was like what three of those, so like two has to be nine of each. At least some boosting, but just kind of the way I ran it. Nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. Did all the rank threes today on a non level up? Bro, why? Dude, I put so much planning into like doing those rank ups like across like a month's worth of of, of level up days. So I'm like, I was working towards like when I was gonna be doing the runs. Between like the actual rank ups, like SIGs and everything. I was like, I took I took so much time doing it. One team in time. He's something, yeah. It's wild, man. Yeah, we're only twelve rounds at a 21 so we got nine rounds of seven stars left You should have 80 after this month. Because there's 40 a month for the three months, and that's how you get the 120 for the Nightcrawler. Because hitting GC gives you 10. Uh, the store is 10. There's 10 in the Paragauntlet, and then the other 10 is... Uh... I'm not sure where the other 10 are, but those are 30 of them. <laughs> Do a duped void 7 star? That's actually pretty cool. Not of mind, a duped void. There's another 10 somewhere. I, I don't remember where. Uh, no, it's not been in incursions. 
If they were gonna do do that, they were gonna they would have like special incursions, I think. Um, try and think. Where are the other ten? Mm. Oh yeah, because there was gonna be. Yeah, I'd have to look back at the. Let me see if I can find the, if, if it's in the, um... Look around, detouring time out of arena though, because I need to get everything on on a proper cooldown at the same time. Um, finding what I'm looking for, so. Not that it doesn't exist, but the forums suck. I hate the forums. Uh, the incursions is going to give 20. You found the photo. Okay. Very nice. Very nice. Kill beans. So, there is only 30 this month then, and then 50 next month. Um, is, is that the breakdown then? That makes, uh, that makes it okay. I was thinking they had it evenly split, 40-40-40, but it doesn't particularly matter. They're not going to be able to get it to get the 120 anyway, so... Who cares? Youch. I knew that. <laughs> knew I wasn't going to be landing a heavy. Get that out of here. So, no worries there. I mean, it'll be nice, but like at the same time, like, if I really want Nightcrawler... Like, it's just weird. Like, a 7-star Ascended Nightcrawler Max Sig will be way better than a, an Unduped 7-star. It just feels weird knowing that I'm going to be getting a 7-star. And like... Not that like, there's like, oh, there's a chance I could get the 7-star in the future. Like, I will be getting the 7-star. Like, uh, I love opus tomorrow. That is true. Level up is in fact tomorrow. This is a bad matchup. I still have some stuff to rank up, but I mean, I need to take a. Um, and, a, and a, do a couple more ascensions and I gotta take up. I was gonna ascend 
Iceman, but like, I don't know if I feel like it now, to be honest. Like, I tab him rank 5, but. Like, he's not usable in war right now because. Um, and I don't know if I would, he would actually make my deck or not. Um, for, for BGs. Like, I, I don't see him replacing anybody right now in my current deck. Um, he, I, he might, would, would very well, um, this is gonna hurt. Dude, Serpent's, Serpent's a dick. <laughs> um... Yeah, decide tomorrow when level up's on. Make use of the level up. That's actually really bad. A, that was a seven star loss, which is bad points wise. This is like not a great matchup either. Ah, no, I think we're fine. We're not gonna lose to this guy. For a second there, I was like, uh, but no, this is fine. Get clapped, boy. You can do it. Get wrecked, boy. actually lost my streak again. Dang. Oh, that was close. That would have that would have been very very saddening. <laughs> Bro. Youch. All right, five more rounds. Cinco Mars. Kindred. Ugh. I still need to run incursions. Do freaking resist. Out of my face. I didn't lose it though, Hussein. So it would have been sad, but we saved ourselves from the sad. that I didn't lose. That would have been really, really extra sad if I had lost. Um, that would have been so bad. Uh, I don't know, there's something really cool about the, like, the grayed out, like, deathless kind of border they had dead instead of making them, like, the standard seven star purple. That's just kind of cool. That puts them, like, into a class of their own. Super cool looking. It's cool! And why do you want me to lose? Come on. Supposed to be on my side. 
Losing is not my side. I guess Sentinel actually as a seven star would be pretty dope. Yeah, the purple is so much better. Is he hating as well? Uh. W would the thingy change your mind? Because I, I think, because it actually has to do with Arena. Uh, and I thought it was like actually really nice. Yeah. Arena, Arena is like the place, man. Cries on Hunter Kegel. See, that would also solve your gold problems. Like, legit, ah, uh, I want somebody to read it. It's it's just that good. It took I spent way longer than I should have, but I actually made it like actually fit the the thing. Like I actually spent like an extra like 15 minutes doing it because uh, like I was struggling with it, uh, and I did it. So, but totally, totally awesome. I rather liked it. As unnoticed as it ever goes, I still like it. But like it is there for a reason. Always adding something. That was like a, a clever. We 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 survived. Miss it on the the real time release at least. Too early. 
See that long dash in, dude. They like dash back and just they parry you because like, yeah, it's annoying. So annoying. Oh man. Kill him straight, that's fine. Six million points for just the seven stars. Nice. So seven stars, no more. All right. Before I get into a long stretch of six stars here, let's uh, 39th again because we haven't moved. I need to spend some more glory though before I can claim this. So I'll wait on that. Uh, let's see. I need to dump some energy. Uh, I say we start working on Cav. Technically, I mean this will take slightly longer, but we'll do it. No, if we're if we're because this has no units, we might as well start from the end. Yeah, we'll start. We'll start from the end. It really is annoying that it doesn't give any uh, units, but start with the end. Oh, Deville. All right, I'm gonna actually let this. Uh... Wait, this is Cav. We should still be able to let it auto. Um, I'm gonna let this auto for for a minute. I'll be right back. I'm gonna get myself some more to drink and a brownie because like I need a snack. I'll be back. I'll be back. Mm. unfortunate that my brownies aren't like soft but um they still taste them 
They're a little bit crunchy at this point, though. Um, I have a an Elgato. Bro. Jeez. Um, I have an Elgato capture card. Um, so like my phone connects directly to my laptop, and um, then I stream through OBS. There's, there's other ways of doing it, I just happen to do it that way because I happen to have a Nogato, so... Oops. Ouch. That was painful. Thank you, Hussein. Thank you. It seems like you appreciate it. Do you realize how much longer that took me to do than it should have? What's up, John Boone? Seems like you've got at least a little some appreciation out of it. I, I would hope that it took it definitely took some effort. Um, you you're liking it better with stills with suicides. What's up, DTX? I mean, it's just a quick little, it's just a verse, like a single. Um, but um, it flows really nicely. Cause like, as I wasn't, it wasn't, it's not like, it's not random. Like it actually, it follows the, the right number of syllables. I mean, like, it's a 5% fury. Like, if you're already doing 160% damage at base, it depends on who you're using, obviously. Um, a champ specifically like um, Gambit would, would benefit the most. You're dead. Yeah, oh, gee. Um... Because his his damage isn't upped by like it, fury within a fight or any other modifiers, um, so he'd get sixty percent from suicides, plus up to basically, um, well, I guess technically forty five percent additional more from the furies if you max it out first. Um, that's when you hit ten, 
they go away. So get a max up another 45%. Your whale instincts are inching. Dang. Uh, well, I ain't scratching it for you. Um, I mean, that's fair. Because of BGs and like the design of of quests nowadays, I've just been not caring about suicide specifically friendly champions because it just doesn't matter. Quests aren't long enough to, for suicides to be a hindrance. When they were longer and you had to do like more fights, um, or fights just straight up took longer, so you would you need to fire more specials within a single fight or whatever. But no fight, no champ really has to take more than maybe two fights. Um, and fights go fast enough, you can do any one fight in, in, you know, two specials maybe. And if that second special kills them, then you've lost, you know, 15% of your health in a fight and you only have to do two fights. So if, as long as you're not screwing up the fight and losing a bunch of health from, like, block damage or something like that, then you're, you're fine. Um, Alright, let's get the uh, six stars. Only facing the whales. Where, where are you at? Are you in... Um, are you in diamond, vibranium? You haven't, you haven't hit uh, GC yet, because that's... Recoils actually would uh, be helpful. Because um, of the, the thingy bobber. Diamond 3, okay. Still got a ways to climb then. Uh, I saw the thumbnail, I didn't actually... Um, um, I didn't watch KT's video on it. to time out. Dang it, I was not trying to. There we go. If, if it's accurate, like I said, I was talking about it a bit just a little while ago. Um, the kind of what I was thinking about that. Because um, I don't know like exactly like the source or like what it was found out exactly, because I, I, like, I haven't watched anything. So... You, sir, are dead. Um, but generally, when we have, like, this sort of thing, like, oh, these champs are coming, we might find out before an update. Um, but spring cleaning should be coming within this update, so nothing should be changing in-game. And those champions have not yet been shown, like, as uh, available 7 stars, like, within the game files at the moment. So, um, I highly doubt they're gonna be for, for spring cleaning. So, simply for the fact that they don't exist in the game files uh, for this update, as available. Uh, unless they've done something clever and like they have the ability to just, because they've never shown this ability before, mind you. I mean, they have this to do with, like, content and stuff where they can, like, flip it live, you know. So it's, like, they're in the game files, but it's, like, it's not, like, pushed to the proper server or whatever, you know what I mean? Um, so, like, Act 8 and, and, and stuff like that, like, it exists. But it doesn't, like, it doesn't, like, come into where we can see it until they, like, flip a switch, essentially. Uh, no, I'm not, uh, John. I've only played 18 matches so far. I 
I am in Diamond Vaughn. I need 15 more straight wins to, uh... Um, but as far as, like, champs coming to the game, they've never shown an ability to just, like, okay, they're in the game files, just flip the switch. It's always, like, when we get the update, all the champions that will be available to get in that update are, are shown via the, um... Um... A champs available screen uh, in, in the champ screen. So. It could be, yeah. Dude, can you imagine a, a rank 3 7 star chorus stat focus with the with the special attack damage stat, stat focus? Bro. That would be a gnarly special too. Kind of filthy. Yeah, quick quick silver could be interesting. I wouldn't mind that. Long shot too. Like long shot's dupe is nice, also doesn't 100 percent need it. For certain metas, like if he doesn't have it, then he's like less of a threat. Um But it's like really nice. Quick silver. Also doesn't actually really need it. Uh, I think I would between the two, I'd almost rather Quicksilver. Um, just because science kind of claps a bunch of stuff really, really well. Well, uh, OS, Omega Sentinel. Yeah. Her too. But Quicksilver was also on the list. Um, and I would be totally okay with that. Whoa, with block pin on. Dude. Bro. Dude, that special two into your block. Bro. He's generally not much of a defender, quite frankly. But as a 7 star, he might actually come back. As, um... Dude, he's a really good attacker, though, still. Like, if you use him properly, man can do so much. Um, he's slightly RNG dependent, just because, like, his majority of his damage comes from the, the debuffs, which is RNG dependent on placing. I mean, I can evade it, too. But fully evade it 100% of the time? No shot. And if you mess it up in the slightest, and getting it into the block hurts enough. Getting hit in the face by it, even worse. And if you mess up the decks and eat the rest of the special, bro, you're clapped. Uh, you might survive, but you aren't winning that round. <laughs> <sighs> so Hussein got it. Um, I think it should be obvious. You you do know the tune, right? Ninety-eight percent. Yeah. Like, I, I could do the special one way more consistently than the special two. It's just, it's so dangerous to mess that one up specifically. No, that is not it, actually, Hussein. I think the biggest hint that, like, would be the first line. First line, I think, would be the biggest hint to what it actually is. I 
I think it sounds pretty good in the tune though, because like I said, I have I have it matched like syllable for syllable. Um, and uh, it's pretty cool. <laughs> And it, it like it's not like it's like random words either. Like it actually makes sense. Um, I'm, I am pretty good at that, to be to be honest. Like, make making new lyrics for for um, for um, um, for for tunes. I do that like literally all the time. Like just uh, like a tune will pop up and Kurt marking again. What? What you want about? That's highly unlikely. I mean, it's not impossible, but I don't I don't see it being like highly likely either. Is it? But how would know? And why? Actually, we don't we don't need to be getting into that. That's none of my business. Anyway, if it's true, Kabam can sort it out and get them banned or whatever. It might pop up on me looking around YouTube. It's fine. It's not like I mind knowing, it just I don't need to get any of the details of it. I love me brownies. The fact that it would be like 10 times better if it was actually soft. Oh. My runs before using the seven stars and my all the way down to like half halfway through a lot of them, um, the rank ones probably more than half. It was like a lot of rank ones I was using actually. Um, was um, was like twenty two and a half. So we'll see where we wind up. It's gonna be a bit skewed because I had to restart my my streak and use more rank ones than I otherwise would have. So we're actually gonna be with a, a, a higher score than I otherwise would have uh, on this particular run, but we'll we'll see. But realistically, I'm only like a little over half of where I probably will land. Um, that's just how much six stars give me compared to sevens, even just because there's so many more six stars. Even though they don't give as much per, it's not like that much less on the high end. 
It's less than a hundred thousand difference per per round. Realistically. Uh, tw wait, 20k minion with who? What? What happened? Am I am I crazy? Oh, there you go. Ghost to yeah, with with suicides class advantage, yeah. Uh, with with the, at the start anyway, with the furies. Once the furies drop off, she hits maybe like 10k. I was like, what is, was I hitting that hard? I, I'm just kind of like in autopilot mode, if being honest. Um, we're, we're not really focusing all that much. At this point, now that the streak's like in, in full swing, like we're kind of just doing that. Oh, this is gonna be annoying. I hate that so much. Like the reach on that first hit that's unblockable, like I that just failed my decks. I couldn't get away from it. I wasn't even like right next to him either. Okay, that was my fault. Uh DT I'm Grinding right now, DTX. We're we're. It's gonna be a while. <laughs> um. I do need to hit BGs today. I honestly don't know if I'm gonna. I want. I would like to hit them on stream, but to kind of just the arena is like the important thing to get taken care of at the moment. So I don't know if I'm actually gonna land it or not. Wow. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Dead. Sheesh. <laughs> with with stupid mechanic, yeah. These serpents like literally the only one. I've died to him both times he's popped up. Kind of annoying. Rank four, yeah. I ranked him up for a meta, and then I ended up never actually using him for it. So, <laughs> so I have a rank four silver and Um, That I that I ranked him up and never ended up using him, or or that he's that I ranked him up in, at all. I like him. I, I I like his mechanics. He's got solid damage too. Um, there's just champs. He just winds up not being as good as other champs, so he he just he never makes decks. He's got good utility. Yeah, that I didn't use him. <laughs> I had him in the deck at like the very start. But then I just had like other champs I swapped them out with, and I never actually ended up got it, getting to use them. But uh, it's whatever. You can't realistically use everybody you rank up because like there's certain champs that will like never leave your deck at certain ranks. Um. 
and then, you know, because of certain ranks, champions just being so strong, even if they don't necessarily counter a meta directly, because they're stronger and can do fights just better than a champ that is lower but counters it better, um, like CGR. CGR doesn't necessarily always counter metas, but he's just that kind of guy, you know, that if, he's, if you're not using him, then... Like, Masakre, I mean, I'm, I don't have him in my deck this season. I don't have, um, Dice Roll 23. <laughs> oh, man. All right, have yourself a good night, Masakre. Chief. Chief, okay. Uh, Thrombogiku for your 11th rank 4. Nice. Very nice. You're that close on the uh, the mats, huh? The, the initial clear doesn't give, give that much. Oh, dang. I mean, it technically is Hussein. Um... If, if you know what the song is. I mean, it's not where it, like, originated, I don't think. It just happens to exist there. But I can't actually confirm that that wasn't, like, the first place it showed up. I don't think it did, but... That doesn't really make sense. No, I, there's no way. There's no shot. It is all star by Smash Mouth. That is correct. That is exactly the tune that is set to. And it's quite brilliant. <laughs> um. It flows so well at that at that tune, because that, that's what it was designed for. Um, oh, it's great! I put so much more effort into that one specifically than I like to actually make it do it right. Because like I had the idea in my head, I actually had to pull up the song with the lyrics that I could like match it to to actually pull that off, but... Because, like, I know the song pretty well, but, like, I just... I needed to... In order to be able to type it out, like, I couldn't just do it in my head. Like, it just wasn't working. <laughs> but, like, I could sing what I wanted, but then I couldn't, like, type it, because I couldn't do it at the same time. Anyway, it's weird. Um... No, we aren't. We don't need new lyrics. I already. Uh, the lyrics are already in the description. Oh yeah, that's, that's really close. Closer on the tier three than the basic, but yeah. Of each form. Yep. You only need three for the uh, the cats. Besides, my lyrics are way better, AB. Mine are better. Because if it fits what we're doing ish, but like it's more just arena in general. Um, it's it's brilliant. It's it, it really is. It's it's amazing. Those are three lyrics. I mean, technically, yeah, those are closer to the original lyrics than what I used. Um, I was just like, because you added my name to it, which which throws it off. Anyway, yeah. 
it's good. It's really good, AP. I I'm I'm extra I'm extra happy with the way that one turned out. I have I have some pretty good descriptions, generally. Um, some with more effort in them than than most, but it usually goes unnoticed because nobody looks at the descriptions. But there's always something in my description. That just kind of fits the vibe for the stream. That one's particularly good. Um, I'm really, I'm really happy with that one. It's, it's quite, it's quite fantastic. I just, it sometimes an idea will just pop in my head, and then I have to follow through on it because I have to. I just, it just, I can't not. Um, and therefore, it because it took a little bit of time. It took extra time. Our top of me already being late on the stream. Um, Mod, Destroyer, Mangog, Dragon Man, all in duped except Dragon. Probably Destroyer. I like Ma, um, but he really wants to dupe as well. Offensively would be helpful, especially for the current meta. Um, with the guaranteed crits, you're not going to get extra damage unless he's duped. So... Um, so, yeah. I'd, I'd go with this drawer. I don't like Dragon Man all that much. Uh, same with Mangog. Um, I initially, back way earlier, was like, I was wanting a seven star, because like, he was like super common in BGs and I, you know, because of my science roster lackage, I was, you know, kind of struggling with him. But once I hit a point, um, and did have, like, the sciences I needed, he was just, he was a joke, and I was like, okay, well, if he's, if he's this actually easy to take down, like, I don't want him, you know? So. Yeah. I was there for a little bit, too, until I got sassy, like, my 7-star mystics kind of sucked. Um, I had like Chavez um, fairly early, which which helped. Um, but I, I didn't actually rank her for like a little while. Uh, but once I did, like, oof, crushing it. It's fantastic. So the deck the deck is pretty filthy at the, at this point. Pretty nasty. Ma can still be like a defender without the dupe though. If like if you need a defender specifically, Dro destroyer I don't think, especially unduped, not gonna be much of a defender. Um, the Vault Kindred, he's kind of annoying, honestly. I ended up doing it with Fix It, um, but in order to get all four takedowns, it it took me probably like close to maybe ten tries <laughs> to get the the four takedowns. I died several. I died a few times. Um, you don't want somebody, generally speaking, super um, like debuff heavy, like a little bit of debuff, so you can like easily push them to special two and punish that. 
rather than the special one, so you don't have to dex a lot um, or something. Um, but um, but I ended up doing a fix. I didn't actually try anybody else. I just was like, okay, I'm going to fix it. At, or did I try somebody else maybe first? But then I went to fix it, and then I just used him. Something like that. Either way, he's basically the only person I used for it. But uh, for sure, slightly annoying fight. Um, he's a slightly annoying Kindred, for sure. 100%. Well, initially, I was like, oh, Kindred, I was thinking maybe I was using Photon, but then I was like, the debuffs are bad, and I was like, yeah, no, that's a terrible idea. So. Ended up going with Joe, uh, fix it. Which also has ends up with a lot of debuffs. Um, and he gets like, if you throw a special one, then he gets like two bars of power in like three hits. Um, but uh, I made it work. But the good thing about it is you can try it as many times as you need to to figure out who you want to use because it's only one energy, so. Yeah, unfortunately she's not, because of the class disadvantage, she doesn't have quite the reach to actually just completely one-shot it. Um, so you, you'd have to bait out a special. There's there's no way to really... to, to do it to actually one-shot it. If you were rank 3, then it would have killed him. Um, but... Uh, yeah. Or if it was like a, a smaller onslaught, so say if it was a rank 5 not ascended, it would have been fine. You need like the extra rank above it with the class disadvantage to one shot it. Um, so if, if you're just, if, if the special 2 is not going to wind up killing him, you don't want to like go ham pushing him to special 3. Unless you get lucky and still finish him off anyway because he is going to be low enough health. Um, if, if he happens to not throw up, but that's not like a safe way of doing it. You'd have to bait out an extra special or something. Which unfortunately wastes a bit of time. And I generally if I'm trying that matchup, I want to just ham it and uh, go for it anyway. Uh, but if it fails, obviously you'll stun and be dead, but... It's one of the reasons I wanted to actually rank 3 Mantis. Uh, and I still want to. Is because of what she can... She can do that one shot clap at rank three, um, like even a, a bishop at rank two. So, um, it's um, the, the reach she has at rank three to be able able to do, even do this class disadvantage uh, rank two seven stars. It's it's ridiculous. Uh, yeah, that's fine. But yeah, that's, uh, that's how that goes. I think before I do any other, like, getting the four stars run, no, I should have to do those first, actually. Five stars, I, I don't mind putting off. The four stars, eh, I really shouldn't. So, once I get through the six stars we're gonna run, I need to, I need to run the, the, get the streak on the four stars, and then I can hit up, uh, the VGs. I actually don't like it when it slows down like that. It's actually really annoying. Well, that he gave 
silver and gold, soon to save us. What's with my inputs? Johnny Lewis. <laughs> right? We ain't got money like that. Dude, I just did my taxes last night and friggin' spent a butt ton of money. I knew I wasn't getting a refund this year. I, uh, I usually, I usually do, uh, or had, uh, working normal, a normal job. But last year I didn't. I did uh, contract work, so it was all self self employment income without any tax taken out. Uh, and self employment tax uh, kind of sucks. If you uh, didn't know, <laughs> so. Papa had to pay lots of money to the government! Uh, did I do? That's the question. Um... Um... The, the reason I was, like, sporadic, like, when I had to, like, go out of town for, for work, and that's what I was doing. I was, um, uh, the times I would, like, not be streaming for, for chunks. Um, I was, uh, going, going around the country, um, um, uh, installing dash cam systems in, uh, police fleets. That's actually a really awful matchup. We're not going to do that. I was basically working as like an assistant to, to the guy I was working with, um, do, doing that. Um, so he he did all like the setup and stuff, and then he contracted me basically to work for him to do the contracts he was getting for doing that sort of work. That's basically how it worked. Um, so basically, I, I was more of a subcontractor um, than a direct contractor. But uh, either way, it worked. It works out basically the same, as far as like the the taxes. Um, so, but he paid me fairly well, so like I can't complain about it. Considering how much effort I really had, realistically had to put in, and how much work I was actually doing, like I got paid way more than I did working my old job that I had quit before I started doing that. Um, even though, kind of like in the end, because I didn't work like the full year, um, and there was a couple times where I'd go like a month without actually even doing a job. You know, I didn't make quite as, as much as I did, but I worked significantly less, so, you know, really can't complain. Uh, I don't really want to live in Phoenix. Uh, and I don't drive. Um, so... There's that. <laughs> it's Jover. <laughs> yeah, no, not not a driver. That is uh, 
Not my thing at all. I was just kind of along for the ride going across the country, because we did drive, um, but I was just like passing. Just along for the ride. But yeah, we went all over the place. Um, I was actually near Seattle for one job. Um, we, were, we were in Washington. Um, uh, not actually really uh, that much. Like, I'd, I'd do a little bit, but generally, no, we'd actually, he'd like have his phone set up on like a, um, and, um, on like a little like phone stand thing, like a cup holder or whatever sort of stand, uh, and we'd watch like movies. So we watched we watched a lot of a lot of movies actually, because <laughs> I mean, we, you have so many hours on the road to travel on the road to across the country like you're, you're on the road for like 10 hours on the uh, for, for a day to you know get to where you're going in you know a couple days or or the day you know depending on where we're going Yeah, a lot of a lot of road time then. We got got to see a bunch of stuff that I wouldn't, you know, other otherwise see. It was a it was a unique experience for me cuz I, you know, not really much of a traveler. I don't get out a lot, so It was it was there. Right. Um but But then there was a bit of an incident and and the the work basically blew up, so um, not doing that anymore, so. Uh, metaphorically. But we were we were basically fired. Um, um, from from being able to, to do, we were because we were installing the dash cam. It's where it's um, uh, the the system, the company that makes the system. Because all we were were installers. We the the the, the hardware. Would, would arrive there and we would just be installing it like um, 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 is uh, the system was called axon uh, it was the it was the company that makes the the system for 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 the vehicle um, and so all, all the you know depending on how many vehicles we were doing I mean it'd be dozens to whatever just boxes of these things um, would would already be there when we arrive and we you know have to just install the stuff um That's a bummer. But stuff happens.
What about the time you never made it to Arizona? <laughs> I mean, it's just, I mean, depending on where you are, I mean, because uh, there, there are parts, because I haven't been all over Arizona, but like, I live in a hot area. Um, um, but so certain parts, the hots aren't as hot and the colds can be like cold if you actually have proper winners, like Flagstaff. Um, like that, that place will get snow, um, like every year, like quite a good bit of it, like, like Phoenix, Phoenix will never see snow, like it's just too hot. <laughs> the place never gets snow. Um, like we'll get snow in the mountains around here, um, but like, if, if it ever does snow, like in the city, like it's, it's melted by the time it lands, basically. Um, like, it, like if it, like it won't stick, like it just, it's gone, you know. Okay, come on, we're dead. But yeah, no, th thankfully there was never like, any like, physical, like, bad problems happening with like the equipment and stuff i mean i got like scratch because like we're inside these vehicles like i got plenty of like scratches off of my hands and arms and stuff reaching in do, doing the stuff i was doing and in, in, installing stuff um but other than that it's nothing it's never it's never anything particularly dangerous um Although the one the one job that we did in um, was a terrible job. Um, the fir the first like week we were there anyway, it, it sucked. Um, one, once we he like negotiated it after that first week and negotiated like it ended up way better for us. Um, but uh, just because we had extra people and we ended up being done super early with the job. Um, but I. Because of how it turned out, um, I, was, I was paid basically per vehicle. Seven star doll, bro. Uh, I, I was paid per vehicle basically. That's how he paid me, like per per. Because we did piecework. That's how he he was paid. So he paid me piecework. Um, however many, like I, based on how many vehicles we worked on, would be how much I was paid basically. So the more vehicles we did, the better. But if you could only go through so many vehicles in it, like if. If you if you only got through three vehicles in a day, like that's not as good as like getting through ten, you know, even if you work the same number of hours. Uh, I would hundred percent like yeah, rank two that sucker. Um So what because of because of that getting paid per per vehicle the, the one that initially sucked because we ended up getting extra help. Um, like the final like couple weeks we did it, dude. I was making really good money on it because we, because normally it would just be the like the two of us doing you know working on vehicles together, but instead no we had you know four of us guys um, doing vehicles, so we made it through way more vehicles in a day. Um, and, you know, I think the most we went through, we, went, we did, like, 14 cop cars in, like, a day. Um, and we were doing, like, you know, on average, maybe, like, 12 a day. And we were, we were smashing the car out every, like, 45 minutes. Pretty, pretty nice. It's usually like you know, on a job, like day one, we'd get to maybe like four. And then once we got into like the swing of it, we'd be doing like, you know, seven, eight in a day, you know, uh, at best. But like day one was usually like four. My first time ever doing the job, because like I was learning, plus, you know, there's always like a 
the first day is always terrible anyway because like they're getting set up and um, so my very first day doing doing the work with them we we did two vehicles <laughs> um, it was a long day um, but usually we got through at least four uh, on the first day on the job uh, sometimes only like three but it was only two my very first time and that was only uh, that only ever happened once um, we were close to having it that, that bad though at the, the, the crappy job. Dude, the one car, like our first car, um, like day one, because the, the amount of dismantling we had to do, uh, we, were, we were in Texas. And, because normally what we do is to remove the old system, we just like, you know, uh, wherever it was attached to the vehicle itself, like unscrew it, whatever, if it was just adhesive and you could rip it off, whatever. And any any wiring we just snip off and you know, it'd be inside the the vehicle, you know. Um, like in, in the in the liners, you know, in, in this where you not where you can see it, but like still exist in the vehicle. But they wanted everything a hundred percent removed and we couldn't cut anything. So we had to detach everything, get everything pulled out and the way the it was a it was a mess. Uh, and to pull that off, the amount of dismantling we had to do on some of those vehicles, um, it, it was taking us like three, four hours to do a car. Um, it was, uh, it was, it was awful. Uh, what? Dun, dun, no. D don't even, don't even elaborate on that. <laughs> um. Anyway. But yeah, that was that was that spiel. So. So. All that to say. Um, Self-employed taxes, uh, very different from because normally I, I was working, you know, had a W two, and that's super simple. You just it basically just uploads itself, and then boom, your tax is basically done. Uh, and with taxes taken out, I was you generally apart from last year, which I did actually get a refund both federally and state. I would usually get a, a federal refund, but have to owe a little bit to the state. Um, generally, it was how it ended up. But uh, I owed quite substantially federally this uh, this year, and more to the state than I've ever also. But mo mostly federal. And you have the dude. I don't have a six-star Jugs relic. Oh, he'd be he'd be solid. I don't have the the relic. I only have one Mystic six-star relic. And it was the one I actually just pulled from 8.4, too. Um, it's not great. Yeah, just, just, hey, we don't need that, I mean. Get, the, get that out of here! So, anyway. But, yeah, I, I mean, I shouldn't have put it off, because, like, obviously, taxes are due by the end of today. Um, um, I didn't even start going like through it to even see it. Like, I knew I was going to owe this year, so I, I don't know, I was just putting it off. Um, I was being lazy. I didn't even start going through it until like Saturday. Um, and then I finished, finished it up last night. I mean, I basically finished it on Saturday. I just um, did a couple extra look or look at and tweaked a, a touch. Um, and, uh, yeah. This is a clean channel. Thank you very much. If you haven't noticed... Thought that was fairly somewhat, at least somewhat obvious. Uh, 
Uh, whoops, that was my fault. That'd be your responsibility. I don't think it has anything to do with responsibility, it's just, uh, I can't even think of the right proper word that I would want to use, but, uh, anyway. Juggernaut? Yeah. Juggernaut's stupid, man. I mean, rank one is virtually a, a maxed out, uh, six star, because it, it's, I mean, Ascended would be but like rank five. And Juggernaut at rank four, pretty solid. You know, it's basically a rank above that. Uh let's do whatever. Yeah. That's why I ban Juggernauts. Cause he's just he's stupid. I actually haven't been banning the rank ones. Uh, but rank two or six star ascended, yeah, they get the ban. It just kind of depends on what the other rest of the deck is looking like. If there's nothing else I need to ban, I probably I might ban the rank one. 100% insta ban if, if it's a rank two. Um, but um, just depending on what else I need to ban, a rank one might I might let a rank one slide. She can hit really hard too. I would I would actually be curious to see like her at rank two with like a like a reasonable amount of furies, like how much she'd hit. Cause dude, like the rank three six star, like with her furies at like eleven, which is a bit trickier. Like most more reasonably would be like nine or ten. But if you have like eleven, twelve, I think you can get up to maybe thirteen. I think a max you can have fifteen, I think. Um but most reasonably, like nine is pretty pretty respectable to have. Um, she uh, and she can do like more than ten k mediums at a rank three. It didn't seem that crazy. She hits really hard though. It's super easy to hit nine. Shipper in final of my day. Yeah, it's, he's super easy. Yeah, it's like, come on, man. He's like effortless and just. Yeah, he's, he's so stupid. Um. He's he's kind of he's kind of big dumb. I want to jug so bad. Yeah, just just tap, get have ten unstoppables, throw throw your special two, they die. Like it's just like if you get triple crit on that special at a, at a rank two, that's like two hundred thousand damage. And then you have the Fury, and then if it doesn't kill him straight from that, like, you're just hitting really, really hard because of the Fury. Um, and he has increased combat power, so you got to your special two really quickly. You can get to another special two really quickly, especially if there's buffs and you have MD. Like, it's just filthy. Like, it's, 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 it's really filthy. Sass is amazing. Same with Shava. Shava is, is nowhere near mid. She claps so many matchups so well. I like I like Shava just for normal questing too. Um, like there's certain champions that I like for BGs that I don't care for 
like questing wise. Um, like Scorpion's a bit one of them. Like I occasionally will use them for questing if there's like a note that he can like benefit from. But like in general, I don't really quest with them. Same with Absman. I like Absman for like a couple matchups, but I I don't like doing an average like quest fight with them. I'd much rather use them in BGs. And Absman is an amazing champion. Fifty-two seven stars. I've got sixty-two. 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 We are one off from even team. One, one off. Fifty. Psh, scrub. Only fifty. Come on, get out of here, you stupid. Come on. Okay, well, he's not dead. Yeah. He's a scrub whale. <laughs> oh, it, it is crazy, though. Like, looking at, like, my deck or my account, like, it, it's not inconceivable. It looks like I probably spent a solid amount of money on the game. To be fair. But it's just not true. Ugh. It's crazy. Like, I, I've always, like, wondered that, like, if I wanted to try and, like, how much would somebody pay for my account? <laughs> like, could I actually make, like, obviously, how much time I put into this, it wouldn't, it, it would take a lot to be worth the amount of time I put into it, like, because if it was, like, a job, I mean, um, like, it, it, it'd be a lot. Now we got guaranteed crits. And you, sir, are dead. 69 rupees. Sources is pretty... Yeah, like, they're solid champions. It's just, hey, what's up, Akbar? Uh, I don't know. I actually haven't played any BGs since I did the rank ups. Uh, I haven't hit the BGs yet. I haven't played since Friday. So. Um, but not a whale, dang it! <laughs> uh, I, need, I need a term for just spending an unreasonable amount of time. Um, wh whale is like spending a lot of money. We, we need a term for like just time. Can, can, we, can we come up a word for that? Um... I, I can't think of, like, what that would make sense, but, like, that's more accurate. Tall? What? No. Air-based? Pterodactyl. <laughs> um, I mean, it's so weird, because, like, whale just makes sense, but, like, why? Why does that make sense? Just because it's been so used so much, we've just associated it in that fashion? That it's like, oh, you're, you're a whale, you know, you, you just, that means you've spent a lot of money. Like, it's just, like, how it's associated, but, like, why? Um... Oh, tail. It's an eye. Okay. It's my fault. Tail. Rhymes with whale. Um, I see that. We call it rat. No, it's not a term to replace whale. 
it, it's more of a of a of an answer well not an answer him but a um par parallelly uh synonymous um that's not the word that's not the words I'm looking for but par parallelly equal to whale uh but time and not money blubbery that did he no wh whales like that that's existed for other games like he did like um i i think you may have used like the blubbery part because you know british um but whales has always been the term like that's been used for video game spenders like that's not that's not a new thing yeah, no, that's not a, a specifically MCOC or a new thing. Like, that's been around for a while. Um, like, anybody that knows anything about, like, gaming would, would recognize that term. Um, or, yeah, yeah, I mean, it probably applies basically anywhere uh, where big money could be involved. Probably most notable in, in gaming. Um, Okay. Yeah, that was dumb. Ouch. Ouch. That's it. Um, Ocean's Eleven. Exactly. So it's that, but like, I I need like a term that specifies specifically like time, just like I I think because I've never I don't think I've ever heard it of, of a term like that way. But like it would almost be applicable to like people that just like um just spend an inordinate amount of like hours grinding games for, you know, speedrunning purposes, you know, to, like, MCOC as well. Um, but I've never heard, like, a term specifically meaning that kind of grind for, for, for perfection, for, like, speedrunning uh, uh, stuff um, that I can think of. But I think that would be, like, it's, like, It's like, oh yeah, they're really good at that. And there might be some natural talent there, but it's like, part of it is like, just, they've done it so much that it's just now second nature. Yeah, the actions, like it's, it's just a reflex, you know? And that's how I uh, play a lot of the game. Yeah, 8.4 is already done, uh, Carter. Um, that was, I finished that up on uh, Thursday. I did. I did half of it Wednesday and the other half. Well, slightly over half Wednesday and then half of it on uh, Thursday. The other, the other, slightly less than half. Um. I might have to have a. If we can't come up with something, I might have to have a think about that for longer to to see if I can come up with something. Should be a turnip. <laughs> um. Uh, that was part of. Uh, they've done it a couple times where the the incursions, like hitting a a couple months, were hitting the 25 room in, in the highest difficulty. Get, gave a Legends title. They've done that twice now. Um, so I actually got it from the first time, but I technically did do it both times. Uh, no, it was for a specific uh, events, uh, Carter. 
Uh, it is. It was like a special title for those events. Like that was known beforehand. It's not like an in, in general sort of thing. They might do more of it in the future. Um, that might be a thing that they have um, in the in next month's uh, incursions. Whatever the event for that also gives the. The Nightcrawler tokens, it might exist there, but it doesn't currently uh, exist. Uh, yeah, there'll, there'll be more acts. Um, like, this was just the conclusion of this particular act. They'll either have an Act 9, or whatever we'll call Act 9, at least. Or they might have They might have that be the conclusion of that particular story arc for the game story. They might go to, like, Book three, Act One, which everybody will call Act Nine. You know, it's just kind of. Um, it just kind of depends on because that was what they were saying. They weren't they weren't sure if they were going to have an Act Nine or if that was going to be the conclusion of of the, their storyline and and started a new thing or I just I don't I'm not sure they they might know at this point but as far as like the uh, the player base I don't think that's like a known a known thing at the moment. Um, fudge. But uh, welcome to the stream. Uh, April, no, it was not. It's not hard at all. Um, the hardest part is the final boss, and even that wasn't like that terrible, realistically. Um, but I also have a pretty stacked account. But I don't think even even less stackedness. Um, like the in general, I don't, I don't think any of the other bosses were particularly. Um, consequential. Well, yeah, they're going to continue it. It's just a matter of whether it'll be, um, like I said, a, um, a different storyline. So they'll call it maybe like a book, book three, kind of how like, we have book one that was six acts. We're currently two acts into book two. It's just however they do this, like actual in-game story. I that was so bad, but. It worked okay. Um, this big book two still. Gotcha. Yeah, the the game follows like a storyline. Each each monthly thing has like a story to it. Uh, the act content is like an overarching like story. Um. Not everybody reads through it. I don't play the game for the story, uh, personally. I, I don't follow it in the slightest. I have no idea what the storyline is. Um, I do like the like the story art, art stuff, like at the end of the act. Uh, that looks super dope. Those are always cool to look to see. But as far as like the, the story of the game, not a clue. I don't particularly care, either. Um, but it exists. Like They do a lot of work putting that in there, because it is... The interest of some people, like, they like it for the story. Uh, I like it for the game itself. Um, and because I spend so much time, like, just in the game itself... Um, dang it, come on. Come on. Well, I need you to. Uh, nope. No, nope, I need you to. Come on. I'm trying to get you to. The trick is like you have to already be. There we go. He has to dash back without you dashing back, and then you have to light, and that does it. But to get that to pull off. Um, like he has to dash back without you dashing back and then you have to light and then it does it fine. I did it, I did at least figure that out. That's like, works 100% of the time. If he dashes back and then you light without dashing back, he'll switch. But the spacing of him like dashing back while you're already away is, is like weird. Like, cause like, why would he dash back if there's a distance between you? Like, um, uh, I've been playing about eight years.
been at it for a long time. Proper rat. <laughs> That's not gonna catch on. That just that doesn't sound right. I'm not sure if there is like a word that will sound right realistically. I don't know. I'd like it. I just I don't think there exists a term right now that applies to the idea I'm thinking of. Uh, I have 62 seven stars, Carter. Best one, probably Chavez. Snail. See, that just doesn't sound right, though. I mean, it like almost makes sense, but it doesn't sound right. A snail just sounds like a negative. I mean, I don't know. Um, I don't know. It's part of, I think, part of maybe what makes whale make sense is like you think. You know, the seed was like blubbery whale. I mean, you, it's big, it's big, large. Like, you can think of money as like, it's a fat wallet, you know, spe it's like deep pockets, you know, spend, spending lots of money. I, I, I don't know what could signify time in the same way. Um,. I'm just, I'm just not sure. Hedgehog as in Sonic. Snail well. Yeah, no, it's like... Uh, I'm free to play, Carter. That's kind of what we're talking about. We already got a word called a nerd. Uh, not the word we're looking for. Um, um, we're, I'm trying to like think of like a, a term to call... Uh, I mean, basically free to play, but like as as a single word, like have it or not actually meaning free to play. That's actually not what I mean. Because you could actually be both the word I'm trying to think of or come up with, think think of would mean it already exists. Um, um, and, and and whale, you could be both at the same time. The way the way it would work, it wouldn't necessarily equate to being free to play. Um, although n probably slightly, potentially be more likely as a free-to-play. Uh, spend time and study, nerd. Eh. Nah. Nah, I don't like that. Um, but yeah, we're trying to come up with a term that's like, okay, whales spend a lot of money. What's the term for, like, you spend a lot of time in the game? Um... Um, that's what we're trying to, I'm trying to think of. And a, a monk. Try hard. <laughs> oh. That sounds too negative. I don't know. A grinder. Um, that actually makes more sweaty. Now that that's closer to like spending. Uh, it's more more synonymous with with spending more. Um, a gr grinder is actually close. A farmer. I think that might be closer to the the line of thinking I'm I'm looking for. I'm not sure if those are quite it. Um, it's 
Some, something that feels like how what the term because a grind grinder is not it's like I mean a whale is not like a bad thing either but like it's it's so synonymous with a very specific kind of meaning like that's what I want um I mean I'm basically showing it all off as I go through the arena because like, we're going through all the champions um but um I could I could show through it real quick after as I want to get everything on cooldown at the same time um I need to I need to finish going through these but then I can I can actually look at it but I need everything because I need to go through these at least uh, another time today uh, which means I need to get them all on cooldown and run through them again later uh, if this was the last time I was doing them today I could stop whenever and 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 take a break and it wouldn't matter but like I need them all to come off at the roughly the same time uh, sequentially so yeah, we're, we're grinding for, for Prowler, so. Um, so I, I can I can show that off once I get through through everybody here. But that'll take a minute. Because we're still a... We have a bunch of rank threes. <laughs> um, honestly, we'll probably hit 25 million before... At the very least, we'll probably hit 24 uh, mil. We might hit 25 by the time we finish. Uh, uh, yeah, brown, whatever. Oh, that was close. Loiter, haunt. Yeah. Come up with some, a couple. Like, I almost want it to be like a new term, something that doesn't. Um, like a grind grinder. Like, that's kind of like a thing. But not exactly kind of the synonymous with what I'm trying to. Uh, I don't think White Mags is a defender at all. And I don't even really like him as an uh, offensive champion. And I don't particularly value his pre-fight all that much either. Like, it has its uses, sure, sweaty grind. Um, <laughs> that's a new term. No. Um, like it needs to be like a single, single word, ideally like a single syllable like whale that just like has a very specific connotation to it. No, I don't think, I don't think nerd, nerd fits. Sweaty grinder now. No, I just. Well, I'm not trying to like just make up something random. Like it has to sound right. Like it has to have a, a, a particular feel to it. I don't know if it exists. Like like how whale just sounds right because it's it's used the way. It's, and I'm not sure if it sounds right because it's just it's used so much and it just. Um, but it just it makes such sense. Um, and it feels right, you know? I don't know if, ideally, like, if, if I, like, ideally, if you hear it, it'll just, like, immediately click. Like, if you hear what I'm looking for, it'll just, it'll click, it'll make sense, and it'll be like, yes, that is, that is the thing, you know? Farmer. Um... Farmer and grinder, like that's closer to the idea, but it's like it's not exactly looter. No, so we don't always mean this, like when we say whale. But I would, 
at, at, at peak end, at, at, like at its extreme, what I'm wanting it to mean is an in, inordinate amount of, like if you're if you're a whale, you spend more than what you a reasonable person would think should be spent. You know, because spending on on a game, spending for your hobbies, you know, that's a good thing. You know, um, we use the, use the term fairly loosely in this in this game sometimes. Um, um, a timer. Um, from the original, yeah, we, yeah. I got, uh, um, the last grind I did, who, who was it that I did? Uh, it was Serpent. I got Serpent. Um, Well, there's nothing wrong with that either. Um, you know, the game wouldn't exist if people didn't spend money on it, you know. That's not what I was going for. Um, yeah, I have Onslaught. That's a six star anyway. Um, there's only a couple six stars I'm missing. Um, he is very good. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he's a good defender. I like him offensively, too. Give me a bit trickier to use offensively to keep him... Um, to get the most out of him, because he has, like, a bit of a uniqueness to, to use him to get the most out of him, but, like, he's very, very strong. Uh, it depends. Spot's quite good. Um, especially if he's, like, really high sig as a 6-star. Uh, but he exists as a 7-star. Uh, but it depends on what you're used to. If it's Battlegrounds, probably not. Uh, not as a 6-star, because of, you know, he just kind of fell off as a 6-star. Not a particularly amazing defender. Uh, often times like occasionally you'll you know get people but uh, it just kind of depends on, like the kind of um i mean i wouldn't personally for first uh, i don't think you need to rank up for specifically for arena either but um if it doesn't do any fight in the story that you currently are stuck on then i'd say no if, if it's per if it's specifically for story and he doesn't solve a problem for you in the story then there's no point, uh, I would say. So he's very strong, but if he's not serving a specific purpose, um, I can't think of a single fight in 8.4 he'd be specifically good for. Um, that other champions wouldn't be able to do, um, that was my fault, um, and do better than he does. Or at least equally as good. Uh, that would also be better elsewhere in the game. Uh, more utility or just more damage in a, in a different... Because he has a lot of damage, but in a very specific manner of damage. It's not in hits, it's, it's in bursty damage, which is nice. But sometimes you want uh, like different sourced damage for, for certain fights. Um, and his damage is bursty, specifically physical. Um, well, it depends on what you're doing. Like, you can't just have a static team um, and, and get it 100% done. That, that team might work for any particular path, but, like, you, you gotta bring in the team that'll do the path you're trying to do. And that's not always gonna be that team. Uh, you, gotta, you gotta look at the path, look at the nodes, and, and, and see what kind of problems you're having to solve. Uh, bring in the champions that solve those problems. Uh, 
Uh, Wiccan is a very specific kind of, like, he won't solve, like, a lot. He can do some fights very, very well, but, like, he's not a very good in general sort of champion. Herc is a very good in general champion. Like, he can just do a lot. Um, Silk, also pretty solidly in general sort of champion. Uh, same with Chavez. Those, those three specifically, uh, I would consider keeping very solidly. Wiccan, you could toss unless you need him for a very specific matchup. Um, which in 8.4 I don't think actually exists, so you could just not use him in the entirety of 8.4 and he'd be fine. Uh, Kate, Future Ant-Man, CGR. C Dude, CGR put in a lot of work for me, actually. You can do a lot. Because um, he has big damage, big damage in specials. Um, doesn't rely on burst, can do dot if need be, which for 8.4 isn't necessary, but... Um, CGR can do just about anything that he works for. Um, um, yeah. Yeah, he's good for those kind of champions. Um, which don't really pop, didn't really pop up at all. Um, and even then, any of those specific kind of uh, aside from even even her, if you play her right, but like a um, oh crap, I oh know I got it. Um, uh, if you're if you're using Chavez, Ch Chavez can do all the the fights. Uh, Hulkling can or uh, um, that uh, Wiccan can just in a in a different fashion. Yeah, Kate's Kate's very very good. I mean, depending on what you're doing, CGR is actually more overpowered than Herc is. Um, like, straight damage for damage, CGR is, like, bar none the highest potential damage outputting champion in the game. Um, um, Nick Fury, as well, solid uh, champion. A lot of his damage comes from bleed, so he benefits highly um, from deep wounds, depending on how long the fight goes. Deep wounds isn't necessary that much, but it'll help. Um, a lot of time I look at, at story content, though, and I just want to get through it as quickly as possible. Um, and just use, gen in general, really strong champions, so champs like Kirk, Chavez, CGR. You, you don't have to worry as much about utility like specific utilities uh, when you're just kind of brute forcing da th with with damage as your utility basically um, any any negative effects generally that you would suffer um, not having a particular kind of utility that could bypass certain negatives are just kind of negated because if you're doing the fights faster um, the chance of negative effects happening is just goes down anyway. Um, so, let's see. yeah, it's got a lot less uh, hard utility requirements for sure as well. Um, Um, it's hard for me to say even how much Act 5 necessarily needed. Uh, it definitely had some certain requirements, but that was so long ago. Like, before, you know, accounts looked like they did in comparison to to the content. Because, like, even Act 6, like, if I were to go through it now with just my breadth of roster that I have, even if they were, you know, at, at more appropriate ranks, um, wouldn't be as bad. What made it particularly as bad as it was, and it's not that bad anymore because of the nerfs, um, it's just there's more champions, and I have more of them at appropriate ranks. Um, what am I doing? I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm just like 
die. There we go. Um, yeah, Herc didn't exist when I went through Act 6. Um, um, he may have by the time I finished it, but like I don't know that I had him and used him before I did. I don't think I did, no. Um, those were more, those were less about needing specific champions and just more of like how you played the fights themselves. I mean, they're obviously counterable, because they're champs that counter it, but it's also more just a matter of, of how you did the fights. You know, if there was, you know, masochism, either have a champion with a lot of debuffs or don't debuff them at all. Uh, meaning, no parries. You know? Um, um, there wasn't as many buff immune champions as there is now, which meant, you know, just you use champions that don't get a lot of buffs um, and don't dex. You know, so it's, it's just playing the fights differently. Um... You know, so. Lizard would be pretty cool in the game. Yeah, 5.3 was rough too. That one took a while. Because of the, the class stuff. Yeah. Pe people nowadays, I think, are spoiled uh, in, in act content. And they still complain. Because they're, they're like, oh, it's hard. Like, you think this is hard? It's, it's not. Um... Like, pe people nowadays have way bigger rosters going through the harder content um, than what was available at the time when most people that have, you know, been around since the content came out uh, did it with, you know. You know, doing doing the, the Grandmaster in 5.2 5 with, you know, rank three, four, four stars. I mean, people nowadays, I mean, they get to that fight and they already have, you know, five stars, some ranked up, as they'll have a six star or, or two, you know. Um, they're absolutely spoiled. And it's still, that fight specifically is, is hard. Uh, e even with, you know, some slightly bigger, bigger stuff, but like, I'm just talking, like, in general, they're getting to those kind of parts in the game with way bigger champions, you know, you know, Act 6, you know, even, like, and it used to be harder, and, you know, at the time I was using mostly, at best, rank 4, 5 stars, rank 1, 6 stars, um... You know, now, nowadays, a lot of people have, like, the rank 3 they need of a 6-star well before they make it through Act 6. Um, and they're, and they're, it's like, you don't need rank 3s for it. Rank 3s didn't exist until you, like, the first rank 3s were required 100%ing Act 6. Or doing the Abyss. Um, like, that's how people got their first rank 3s. Uh, my favorite boss has got to be Bahamut. I loved Bahamut. He was such a fun fight. Sinister boss was rough, yeah. Uh, that's 6.2, I believe. It's either 6.12 or 6.22. Something like that. Something like that. That's fair. Uh, I liked 7.3 Kang. The 7.4 Kang 
I liked well enough, but it was significantly harder for me, for sure. Man, 30% chance, and of course, nailed it. It's just best being caught up with the game because, like, the rewards are most relevant at the time of release. So. Dude, our streak is going to be kind of ridiculous. On the bright side, like, small isn't, like, it'll just make it take longer, um, which the longer it'll it'll take increases the difficulty slightly, because the longer the fight goes, you know, the more chance there is for you to lose health um, and stuff. But it, there's nothing that requires, because a lot of fights in Act 8 have bonuses for do either certain things like the weapon nodes or some other kind of you know thing even smaller versions of champions in the right nodes just absolutely crush it Magneto for, for metal champions. Um, certain champions, like for for the weapon nodes, depending on like what the action is. Oh jeez, crap! Uh, like just depending on what the action is. Ouchie, mama! I am dead. Polies. For the for the term we're looking for, no. Yeah, no, that's not it. Yeah, if you had the roster you have now, two years ago would look big. Yeah. That was fairly clutch, though. Um, I don't know who should, they should bring. Like, they've already... I'm not, like, big, like, into Marvel, like, comics specifically or anything. And, like, all, the most Marvel characters I know are from, like, media. You know, like, the movies uh, and shows and stuff. Um, which, most of those... Most of all those characters already exist in the game. Um, so, the, I, I just learn new characters, basically, as they're added. Um, that just exists in the Marvel Universe. Um, um, so I, I'm not like really caring who they add. I'm just more interested in like what they do in game. There's no like specific characters that I'm like hoping for. Yeah. Dung beetles. <laughs> what sense would that make? Oh, I need to look up a definition real quick, because I just thought of a word that I kind of like, but only because it has relevancy in something else. Um, I'm going to Google something real quick. God, 
Okay, so I don't think that would... It makes sense to me, but I don't think it would make sense in general. I almost kind of like this term more than anything else I've heard, but only because it of something else it relates to. Um, um, can anybody else make this connect connection with the term wraith? Um, I'm, I'm curious th thoughts on that as, as a term. Um, it makes sense to me as a specific reason, but like I, but because of that reason, like its definition, it's in and of itself doesn't, uh, uh, wraith, uh, not wrath, wraith of an eye. Um. Uh, w, w, R, uh, A, I, T, H. Um, see, that actually was one of the things that popped up when I googled Wraith, was like, like, I have no idea what that, that was, no. Um, like an actual race. <laughs> There's a specific reason to that, and if, if nobody understands it, I'll explain. Um, uh, Sisyphus. Again, I'm look. I'm looking for something more like single syllable. Big uh, BG push. Uh, not this week. Uh, well, at least not in the this. Oh my gosh. Um, not in the these few days. What's up, Captain Judah? Though. No, you you've you've missed the conversation. I've I'm trying to come up with a like a kind of equivalent word for um, just spending a lot of time. Uh, in a game, um, that's like the equivalent time-wise what um, like the the term whaling is to money spent in games, um, and um, the the. The one thing that came to my mind, because the other people have put up suggestions, the only suggestion I've had so far that I liked for a very specific reason, and it might just be me, um, and because I don't think anybody else has understood the reference, um, and and I can explain it, uh, and I can explain it. Um, the reason it makes sense to me is because it's related to something else that does relate to what I'm trying to get at. Um, was wraith. Um, which a sounds cool as, as just a word it's the one syllable um, but like Wraith's meaning of itself I mean a whale doesn't I mean it's, it's a giant mammal so but um, but um, yeah that, that's what, the only thing I've come up with this moment the perfect temporal analog of the whale a pergle no. Uh, what's up, Nugget? How we doing? Um, let's see. I used to have a book. Yeah, our book reading time and just comics. Yeah, comics. Yeah. Yes, that do be thing. Uh, we're done. But um, yeah. So that that's what I've come up with. 
so far that might only just make sense to me as in as in how it relates to something else that I'm also familiar with. So that's just I'm putting a pin in that one um, for for the time being, and I can explain um, the, the it's pretty indirect, but like it, it sounded cool. Yes, Captain. G. I'm trying to. I'm trying to come up with a term for that. Um. Um. Because the closest sentiment that so far, uh, wh whoever said it was DTX maybe, um, was like a grinder or a farmer. But that's like a natural like thing you do and get you grind you farm. Like, I, I want it to be specifically meaning, like, an inordinate amount of time. Like, how, if you're, if you're a whale, you spend an inordinate amount of money. You know, more, more than what would be reasonable, you know. That's kind of the, the, the kind of sentiment I'm looking for with what the word will reference. Don't know. I want, like, a simple, like, one syllable, really quick, just word, single word. One syllable, because whale, you know, one syllable. Like, just, it's quick, it's catchy, uh, it just, it just rolls off, you know, just single, like, that's, that's the ideal. I don't know if we can hit it or not. Um. <laughs> you love my streams. I don't know, this is just what I, I was thinking of for, for, yeah. Um. And I, I, I don't think we've come quite close. Like I said, Wraith was like what I like most currently, but there's a specific reason for that. Um, but I feel like it should make sense to most people like in general. It shouldn't have like a specific extra reference to it that I'm currently having with, with that word. Um, for it to be like a more general term that's not specific to me but that would just would make sense to uh, if people started using it you know see and that's exactly it Wraith doesn't make sense to you so that's why it, like it, it's it sounds good to me but if it if it doesn't work that well in general like that's not gonna be it um, MSN and Bebo for, for spelling? Hmm. My spelling is terrible. Like, I suck at spelling. I, I, can, bar I can barely English. You want me to spell? Oh, jeez. Um, see, and that might be a, a, a correlation somebody else might have. A, a, like a, yeah, a Halo vehicle kind of wraith. Um, that, that's perfectly valid. Uh, the thought that popped in my head for the word Wraith um, was the Flash. Um, th there's the things they called Time Wraiths, and that's why I thought of it, because it's related to time. Um, it's a very specific thing that happened to make sense to me, which is why I, I, I like the term. Um, Um, it's it's like a quick, and it starts with a, it starts with a similar sound. Whale, wraith. Uh, well, I guess not. It starts with a W, but you don't really. It's not wait. Uh, anyway, um, scratch that thought. Anyway, but it just it's single syllable. Just just you can rip it off. Um, but uh, yeah. Remnant, yeah. Um, so it just doesn't quite roll off, and it needs to. Because I, I was trying to think of like why was it would make sense? Because like whale just fits for like I'm not sure if it's just because it's used so much and everybody correlates it that way because it's used so much and it's just what we've gotten used to, or if there's like some kind of other reason it just 
because it just makes sense. Like it just, you're a whale. You, you, it just, it's synonymous, you know. Um, um, but it's not specifically Flash. It's just it's the term that happened to be related to Flash when I thought time, you know. Um, but that's more like time in, in general as opposed to um, like duration. Um, um, it's something that like more closer to like long long time not time like is in a general sense but like duration time um but it only makes sense if you like think of like a secondary correlation is, is the thing. Like... Because what I was thinking of, like, when I was, you know, like, why does whale make sense? I was like, well... You know, big, fat, I mean, when you think of a lot of money, you think, oh, if, if someone's got a fat wallet, you know? They, you know, they have a lot of money in it if it's if it's a, they have a fat wallet. Generally speaking, when you you know think use terms like that, so if they're a whale, it's big, fat, and then it just means money. You know, um, you just relate it to money specifically. It's it's like a one step rather than like a double step um, that that I'm kind of using with Wraith. Captain <laughs> Shooter. Um, so, yeah. Oh, uh, please kill. Yeah. If you discover your word association, uh, no, I would. I wouldn't personally. If somebody else wanted to, I'd be okay with that. Um. Um. Is there? Is there? If. Is it, can you do that backwards? Can you like look up an urban dictionary kind of definition and it'll spit out a word? Um, does does there exist a word for for what I'm trying to mean already? I don't. Not that there isn't one that I know of. Um, dude, I still have rank threes. What the heck? Um, I don't know, it's just, yeah. Yeah, I've never tried either. I don't usually use it in general either. Um, because it's actually really terrible if, like, if you look up your name on Urban Dictionary, like, all sorts of stuff can come, come up. Um, mine, like, not great. Um, sometimes they're funny, and other times it's just, you know. Anyway, unrelated. Um,. That has other meanings too. Nah, that would never catch. Walrus. Why though? I would think uh, they never sleep. Um, I mean, they don't have brains. No, it doesn't, it doesn't just roll off though. Like I, I'm not sure if we if I could find something that would just feel right, right off the bat. Like that's what I'm hoping, but I'm not sure if, if we can land on that. <laughs>
uh, we're dead. W alliteration. I mean, it doesn't have to be a, uh, a lean. an alliteration or anything. Uh, there's probably not that many people. Like, what what is it, what score are you at right now, Judah? I mean, if you're if, if you're not in C6, that means you're. Mysterium, which means there's at least already a couple hundred people in the GC. But I can't imagine there being much more outside of that. You're at 97 points? Up there a little bit. That's actually somewhat surprising. That means... I would have, think, I would have thought at, with, with less than a week in, 97 would be C6. Um, so the, I think there's actually slightly more in in GC now than there was at this time last season. Oh, last season, got gotcha, gotcha. You weren't Pacific enough. Um, I feel like I uh, I'd have to I'd have to use Google to help me and I can't like use my hands um, I was thinking like if I just googled like like words synonymous with uh, with an uh, with in an Ordinate amount of time. Like if you, if you tried searching that, what would it give you? Like what would it? What would Google spit out? Like just as like a direct, like actual word that means what I'm looking for. If if, if such a word exists. And the silver words were buffed. Also true. Crap. Chronos. Um, yeah, that's like time. And again, it's not time specifically as a as a concept. It's 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 duration of time, and a lot of it uh, is is the sentiment I'm going for. Not just time. Um. Yonks? Ah, that just sounds weird. Uh. But like that form of it wouldn't work. Cause like it needs to be usable as like an adjective. Cause like a person is this thing, you know. So it needs to be able to describe uh, the noun. It's like a person is a is a whale. The whale is a noun, but it's being used as an adjective. Um. Eternity. Um. Yeah. Eon. Oh, I actually kind of like that. Okay, that's my new favorite that's closest to what I'm looking for. Eon. I like that one a lot. Um... It is two syllables, but it is a, a small word. Um, 
I don't think that quite gets us what we're looking for, but that's that's my new closest favorite. I like that better than Wraith. Um, uh, Anishinaabe, yeah. Yeah. Eon. I like that one a lot. Um, I think that's our, our new closest to what we're looking for. Eon. I like that one. Yeah, I don't, I don't like that one though. That one just... Sloth is like just kind of negative sounding. Sloths are also really stupid. They're very stupid animals. Um. Um. So I don't think it necessarily needs to be an animal, although I'm not 100% opposed to the idea. champions I'm using down the list than uh... Sheesh. So far, Eon's the closest. Um, yeah, I, I'm very particular when it comes to wording, but I like that one the best so far. Uh, yeah, Nugget, I, I guess you missed the, the start of that. Um, I'm trying to come up with a term for, like, the equivalent synony synonymity um, for time spent, like, grinding, playing a game, what have you, for whatever reason, as Whale is just spending a bunch of money. Um, So a person is a whale means they spend a lot of money. If a person is whatever word we're looking for means they spend a crap ton of time. Um, as opposed to money. I mean, um, but not necessarily as opposed to, because like a person that is a whale could also spend a crap ton of time and be this other thing too. They could be both. It's not they're not mutually exclusive. Um, one from another. Does that make sense, Nugget? <laughs> um, they say bum. <laughs> uh, that's more synonymous with laziness. And if you're spending, like, grinding for, like, to get, you know, goods, I wouldn't consider you a bum. So that's definitely not the right word for it. Yes. Trying to find a word for people that just play a lot. Um, but, like, specifically, like, an inordinate amount of time. Because, like, Whale is, like, generalistically, for this game specifically at least, it is often, like, overused. Because there are people that will call, like, oh, this person has a Whale account, or, or what have you. Or this person's a Whale. But they don't actually spend that much. You know, it's... Um, more almost oversimplified for, um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, you know, anyway, uh, bum, bum more synonymous with laziness, I would say, so that one definitely doesn't work. Uh, I do like the single syllable though, that's, um, that's also closer, like, I ideally, like whale, it wants to be just a single syllable, just like, it just rolls off, you could just, you know, fire it off super easy and it's like okay yeah that's you know and it has to be 
you know, it's usable as an adjective because it's a descriptor of, of, of your person. So it's an adjective. Um, I mean, whale whale is, you know, like a noun, but it's, it's you're using it as a descriptor, so you're using it as an adjective. Um, now you're not using it as the noun of, of, of a thing. Specifically, it's it's a, a descriptor of your thing. So it ha it has to have like that kind of quality to it. <laughs> your ex. <laughs> um. This is this is a fun like uh, like trying to trying to come up with something because I that I know of like that sort of term doesn't exist that I know of at least and I'm not sure if if people have really thought about it. Um, but it doesn't it doesn't need to be synonymous with free to play specific because like I said you could be this thing that we're looking for and a whale at the same time. Um, they're not, they're not, it's not going to be a mutually exclusive specific to like meaning free to play. A crindy whale. Um, But, but grinding, uh, farming, that's more of like a process. Um, uh, like I said, it's more, it's more of a, a, of a processual thing. Um, like something can be a grind, but that doesn't necessarily mean it, it equivalent to, to being lots of time, necessarily. It usually is, but it's not like... Yeah, because like I said, it's not necessarily meaning you you grind for something specifically. I mean, um, I mean you I mean, you grind it out. Um, something is a grind, but like it needs to be like a, an adjectivable use of the word for a person. Um, the closest thing I could think of is like people that like are really good at a thing, like speedrunners, because they've, they've grinded so much any hours just playing and playing and playing that it's just, it's a reflex to them doing the game, basically. The Neon Whale. <laughs> um, so... So I'm not sure if we could find the kind of like term I'm looking for. I feel like I I would know it if I if I got it. We got pretty close with Eon, but I don't think that's quite quite it. Um it's like as a standalone word I like Eon a lot, but it it doesn't really work as like uh, an adjective. Um. But yeah. I think it's an interesting idea, because, like, both exist in this game, and like I said, you could be both. Um, but basically, I think what got me, like, on the idea is, like, I want a term for it, because people keep calling me a whale! <laughs> um, uh, so I was like, I'm not a whale, but there's not really a term for what I would consider, like, just the amount of 
time I spend, so. Timeless. Mm. Not the right connotation I'm looking for. But uh, what's up, James Jones? Welcome. Add into the conversation, I like it. Not, not what we're going after, though. Or what I like. It's more specific to, like, way I'm feeling. You guys are coming up with some cool stuff. You are. But it's, 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 I'm, I'm feeling very particular about what I'm going for here. And it hasn't come out quite yet. And it's not like I'm holding, holding back the information trying to get you to guess. Like, I, it's, it's, that's not it. Like, I don't know what the word is. Uh, or term. Whatever. Whatever you want to call it. I've done over a hundred, I've used over 300 champions in this arena. We did break 25 mil. God. Jeez. We're gonna be, oh my gosh. This is, how many, hold on, how many rank ones do I have left? Um... Oh, we, we actually did go through everybody. I can do at most one more with the Invisible Woman team. Wow, we actually went through all possible champions, apart from five stars. That's crazy. Mr. Singalot, <laughs> all right. <laughs> that's awesome, man. Yeah, no, that's cool. Um, yeah, I, I tend to do that. Um, yeah, no, it's just, a, it's an interesting thought that I just had because of, you know, like, I think, I guess, uh, freaking getting called the, the whale. I'm like, I'm not a whale! I'm something else, but I don't know what else to call me, either. Um, it's an interesting thought experiment. Um, but it, you know, once, if we find the word, it's no longer an experiment, like, we've actually succeeded, you know. So, I don't know. I'm not sure. Yeah. Like, we, we use, like, all number of, like, all, not all number, all manner of, like, different sized aquatic animals, or not even aquatic, uh, usually aquatic, um, to, to give, like, different levels of spending, you know? People are like, oh, I'm not a, I, I'm a spender, but I'm not a, a whale, you know, I'm like, more like a, a small fish, you know, it's like, um, whoa, ouchie mama, this is painful, um, I'll have to ask Max maybe what he thinks, uh, I'm sure he'll probably stream tonight, he wasn't on last night, but, uh, maybe maybe ask Max this idea and see see if he can come up with anything. Because um, it's got me curious now. Like I wish there was a term for it, you know, um, that like people could agree on. Because like in general, because like it's not even just MCOC. You you say you call someone a whale. You know, in in, in the gaming community, it means they're a big spender. Like that's that's recognizable. Like. A, Ideally, we could find something that could, like, maybe not be known, but, like, something that makes sense that could catch on, that could become, like, a thing. You know? A sprat. <laughs> what? <laughs> um, I can't believe we actually ended up did breaking 25 mil. I was like, eh, we might. I was like, at least 24, but, like, dang. I also wasn't expecting to go through the entire six-star roster. 
Um, give me a second. I gotta use the bathroom real quick, but I'll be right back. We'll continue this thought. It's, it's it's an interesting one. I like it. I like it a lot. Damon, yo, what's up? Alright. Uh, how many do I have? I have like 30... 35k. A lot of that's like... Arena boost. Um... Uh, who, who was it that I wanted to see the roster? Are you still in here? Like, we're in between the thingies now. Um, are you still in here? They wanted to... Where are you at? Uh, who was it? I... Uh, Carter. There you are. Uh, are you still in here? Did you... Um... um Want to go through that real quick? I'm while well, I'm waiting for um, a bit. Uh, if you if you're still in here, I'm gonna Google one other thing. Um, uh, another, another idea I had. Where's synonymous with? Uh, not helping me. MCC Dr. Disconnect. 
Uh, rate your profile. Um, not exactly actually at the at the moment. Like, today's pretty busy. I've already been going almost four and a half hours. Um, but welcome. I I still got more. Um, like I'm doing an, trying to do an arena grind. So it's it's my day is pretty busy with that. I got a lot of arena to deal with. Dude, I did 1.6 million hero use in a single run through of just six and seven stars. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um that's wild. Um so just to keep things moving, I need to I need to run the four stars at least. Uh, some five stars in the other one I need to do. But if I can at least get those done, a couple, like, I ideally want to get the four stars knocked out. So I just don't have to deal with them. So I need to do this because it just it requires so many of them. So I'm um, going to do these. Everything will then be on cooldown and I can do some BGs. Um, 45th, 7th star today. Ooh, who did you get? Uh, in Damon's Lance. Ah, nice. Raids are pretty nice, though, especially with all the changes they made. Uh, they're very rewarding, super easy. Vox. Ooh, that's actually really solid. He's quite good. Um, he's got some good usability. Mm, yeah. Um, I, I, I was actually pretty darn close to ranking him up. Because um, I, I actually really enjoyed him doing Necropolis. Uh, he just wasn't quite there for me to actually put the resources into him. With more abundant like resources, I, I think I definitely would. And you have 100% Ackmort, very nice. And starting on YouTube, very nice. I mean, in order to like do comments and you know live stream and stuff, I mean, uh, like you have to have an an account, you know, uh, to make post comments and stuff. Um, obviously, it doesn't not required for like watching anything, but like it's never a bad idea because like you know it's part of the you know the comments and and you know live stream chat, you know, is all um um yeah, but I mean you have to have an account for both, so just like in general, but yeah, I mean. It's also a great, you know, people, even the people that don't, like, do YouTube for a living, you know, uh, or anything, it just, you know, it's a great hobby, you know, and it's also, uh, it could be uh, helpful um, to a particular community that you're, you're, or demographic you're going for, it could be just a fun, like, hobby, cathartic even for you personally, it just kind of depends. Um, is your crystal opening very nice? Was it was it good? Mine mine was actually really solid. Um, it's honestly almost interesting to me that like openings and stuff like that have such a bigger audience than a lot of other kinds of videos. Like people are like, oh, I'm gonna watch an opening video. I want to see what he got. You know, it, I find that almost interesting that those get some of the most views of of like videos as far as like this game's related. Um, and you also did the rank three on it. Nice. Which uh, what class did you get for that? I ended up with a with a mutant, which was okay. It wasn't like what I wanted most out of it, but I got a domino out of it, so I uh, can't really complain. Ooh, Kushala. So did I. I also got Kushala. I was so happy with it. I did actually rank her up on stream. Um, well, in the in the video. Or, no, it was on stream, but I don't think it was part of the video. Or, I know it wasn't part of the video, but it was on stream. Um, got a cosmic ring to me. Alright, that would have been an interesting one. Because, um, like, Maestro is a great option. Just because, like, the bigger he is, like, he becomes more problematic. Um... Yeah, you did rank three Maestro. Yeah, that's. I think that's a solid choice. Uh, I think that was probably what I was gonna be leaning towards if I had gotten a uh, Cosmic. Um, like I think Venom's also a solid option. Like Venom is ridiculous. 
especially with the Venom Relic. His damage is just so fast, like he just nukes stuff, it's ridiculous. Um, yeah, I have a newly ranked 3 Shabbas after doing Act 8. Um, Cause I was like, I was I was loving Chavez so much for BGs. I was like, I gotta rank her up. Like that was just, there was no question about it anymore. I was like, she's going up. I was like that was that was gonna be happening. So I did. She's just too too useful to to not have it like peak rank as a seven star. Which means she'll once rank fours are a thing, she'll be one of the first few. I'm sure she's just that good. Um, we're not one of the first, like, she might, definitely gonna get up there, maybe not, like, one of the first ones, because I, like, if she's, like, your top, top champion, I, I mean, I wouldn't want her banned, so she might not be, like, the, one of the first, first ones, but, like, definitely up there, for sure. Edigore, so, okay, interesting. So you had Gore first, then you guys use the gem on Maestro. Fair. I, I, Gore is interesting. Like I, I could, re I recognize what he can do because it's a lot. Like it does a lot of damage. But I, I just, I don't know. I'm not a huge big fan of using him. Region War, yeah, that's fair. But he is very, very good. Ooh. But uh, anyway, so we'll we'll try and knock this out really quick. Uh, and I gotta. I want to do as many BGs as possible today. Um, well, maybe not as many. Shoot, I'll have to think about it. But at least we have a bare minimum, we have to do our three wins. We'll see where we're sitting time wise, because it's already 7 o'clock. Jeez. Um, I think this is going to take us a little bit of time, and then even just doing three matches will be like half an hour. It's going to be late before I even get dinner, so I, uh, that'll probably end up being it. I'll finish this, I'll do my, my matches, and then I'll probably be the stream for the night, because it's already going to be, like, way overboard. It's, it's already been a long day. Because I got a late start, and it got even later with me messing around with trying to have a bit of fun with my my thingy and bobber. So. Um, but it was worth it. Uh, what was it? Hussein? Hussein was the one that found it? Um... Um, totally, totally worth it. It was, uh, it, it goes underappreciated and un, like, recognized, like, all the time, because nobody looks at it. Um, but, uh, placed almost half the alliance, jeez. Um, but, uh, so, uh, under-recognized, under-appreciated, probably, but doesn't mean you shouldn't put in the effort for it, because it's still there, it exists, mostly there for my own amusement anyway, um, but it is, it was nice when it is actually recognized. Uh, right, yeah, that's it's rather unfortunate because that's like a huge like alliance split as a uh, when you're losing that money. Um, that's crazy. Whew. Anyway, but it's always a good time because there's the I, I'm very particular. I like, I do things. With a very specific, like, meaning behind them. Like, there's, it's never uh, completely random. There's some randomness to it, but this, you know. They didn't want to do Tier 5 War anymore. That's fair. 
I mean, depending on how, like, big the accounts are at Tier 5, that could be, like, a thing. But, like, at, at the level, like, Tier 5 in and of itself, like, if you're not, like, trying to punch above your, your grade, you know, like, Tier 5 is, like, honestly a bit of a joke. Uh, to be honest, um, 106, yeah... Uh, I don't think that's necessarily like the best measure. Oh shoot, these are all crappy matchups. All three of these are poison immune. Oh my gosh. Um, because like total base hero rating is what that's like based off of. Isn't always that completely indicative of like an account's like strength. Because like, uh, like mine's large. But there are people with like significantly smaller total base heroes than me that have like roughly a very similar, if not better, top end than me. Um, just because like part of the reason is like is it's it's cumulative of like how many other lower star level champions they have and how much they're ranked up. So. Um, yeah. At this point in the game, Prestige might be slightly closer uh, to, to a better indicator. Um, than uh, Total Base Hero already. But yeah. You got a problem with that, AB? You have the lowest in the Alliance, really? Dang, Akbar. I don't think you have the lowest Prestige, though. Yeah, that would be like the closest thing that like currently exists. Um, it just doesn't quite fit the kind of feeling I was trying to have for the word that I was uh, like the term I was looking for. Ranking the two stars, yeah. There's also just a lot of two stars that exist that you could only get if you were to spend the units on the crystals that they exist in, uh, which just isn't worth the units. Um, like I'd love to have those two stars just for collection purpose, but they're not worth you know the units for. Yeah, I, I like a, a new term that just. That's like... How can grinders sound like so general, but also specific at the same time? Like I want a very like non-specific, just in general term. Because it's used to that's probably it, yeah. I mean, that's definitely probably like the closest word to what it is, like, I'm looking for, but just doesn't feel like what I'm looking for exactly, if that makes sense. Well, I mean, lucky you. I've probably opened close to, like, 60 of the darn things, and I still haven't gotten a bullseye. Um, I've opened stupid amounts of the stupid features. Still no bullseye. <laughs> so I'm holding off for this for a second. I, I'm not sure when he gets added to the basic, and we've got some, like, skill nexuses. Um, but uh, we're still a ways from getting added to the basic. But if he's in the featured and the basic at the same time, which I believe he will be, 
Um, I'll at least open up the next to see if I can't get him that way. Yeah, I just, I don't know. It doesn't necessarily need to be, it just needs to fit the kind of, I don't know. It feels like something that, like, the term should exist. That, like, feels like what I'm trying to get the feel for. But it just isn't. I like I liked Eon. But that also might be just like a relational thing as to why I liked Wraith. Um, um, I, I, there might be somebody that would like know, but not like like be able to figure out what I'm like referring to. Like they know what I would refer to if I said it, but like not like offhand. Uh, so you have all the one stars out of the basic, though, Akbar, right? Do you have a, a one star Starkey and and Captain America? Those are in the current one star crystals that are in the side quest store right now. Yeah, I know, because there's, there's very few one stars. There's only like, I don't know, 20 of them? I don't know. If, if that. Starkey and Cap as soon as they were added. Nice. Okay. So I, those, I'm missing Starkey. I got Cap from the, uh, the other crystals. Um, I, so I'm going to open up some more and see if I can't get Starkey, but. No, I like the Eon word. I feel like it needs to be some kind of, like, more the feel of, of Eon. But more the sense of the word. Like, some kind of, like, somehow combination of the, like, what I like about Eon. And how much more sense, like, Grinder makes. If that, if that, uh, makes any sense at all. Which probably doesn't. Um... But what I was saying is, like, there's a particular reason why I liked Eon, that, uh, like, a relational thing, like, kind of how I related uh, Wraith and liked Wraith as a term, because of the, the relational, like, extra step that I, I see when I think of that word, or was thinking of the word at least. Um... Um, it's like almost like a double like cool thing about Eon because like it's it's the name of a character I was thinking of, but it's also like a, a duration of time. Like is that's its actual definition. Like an Eon is like a, a long time. I forget. Like it has a specific. Um, that's triple. Jeez. Uh, that's probably. Probably one of the worst. I, the last one I got, I've gotten every raid so far. I've gotten 1,500 seven-star shards and T6C. Uh, although last last one I also like one of the T6C was 50 percent, uh, and not the 25. But I'm pretty sure all the other ones were 25 percent, and and the but 1,500 shards though, it's not that much. I'd rather the 2K Titans. Uh, Lorson, yeah, I guess you are new to this conversation. I was trying to come up with a, a, a word term for, um, 
like synonymous to how a uh, person that's a whale is to spending money as would a person that just spends a lot of time playing a game. Um, is that's that's what I was looking for. I have terrible linguistical aptitude, AB. Um, like, yeah, at least when it came to like school work, like English, my English class, like it was, I always sucked. Um, like I got a C in English 102. Well, the why probably because like I keep getting called a whale in here, and I'm like I'm not a whale. I'm I'm something else, but I don't know what I am. So like we need a word for it. Anyway, that was kind of the thought at the at the time. So, but it's also like an interesting I idea because like I was like I wanted a word for it. English is a weird, I don't know, it's certain, like, too subjective about it. I might be being too subjective about this. I'm also being, like, very particular about it. But that's, you know, it's whatever. English AP vibes. <laughs> I tried, uh, like, when I was selecting my senior year, classes like I tried to actually sign up for AP English but I wasn't put in it um, free to play whale uh, again that's not it because like that's it has nothing to do with free to play because it, like it's it, they're not mutually exclusive the word I'm looking for is not because, like, somebody could be a whale and this term I'm looking for. Uh, they're not mutually exclusive. And it doesn't it doesn't necessarily need to... So it doesn't need to be synonymous with free-to-play. Um, um, in fact, it can't, because... Uh, like, you, you could be a whale and, and the term as well. Um... We're almost there, you're saying. We're almost there. We got all the grind buildup out of the way. Four more rounds to hit 15 with the with the rank fives, and then I'm gonna hit BGs. Um, I was I was only in actually in one. Uh, I a, a, a P. Uh, well, it was it wasn't it wasn't AP class. But it wasn't like called an AP, a quail. <laughs> uh, uh, um, I, I took I took calculus in high school, um, so I got like it was like an AP class is how it was like on the, a grade scale of an AP class basically, but it was like it was a like college level class, so I got college credit for it for um, assuming you took the, the AP test. Well, yeah, it wasn't AP. No, I also took. Um, uh, this was junior year, not senior year, but I also took AP, so it would have been an AP class, so it was actually called an AP class, so I can take that back. It was called an AP class. Uh, but in junior year, I also took, uh, I took an AP, I took AP chemistry. Um, anyway. I'm more of a numbers di guy than I am a linguistics guy. Uh, so math, sciences, that sort of thing. That's what I like. That's what I'm good at. Um, that is that is uh, that is my forte. Like I don't personally think I'm all that necessarily bad. I think part of the problem with like English classes is like they're very. 
particular more to them. Like, I don't know. So. Snail. <laughs> the Harvard Language Arts Department demanding a word to fulfill my description. That would be funny, actually, to, like, do that, like, ask a question like that, like, I, I need this word. And, like, even if, it'd be funny if, like, they spend a lot of time on it, actually did give me a word, I'm like, no, that's not it. <laughs> that would be so funny! Because, like, uh, like, no, that's not what I'm looking for. Um, um... That that the that thought of that actually amuses me a lot. Um, that's funny. Uh, yeah, exactly. Like, I'm very I'm very logical. So things that you can like logic through language is not logical. It really isn't. Especially English. Um, um, just there's there's a lot to it that just and it, it's it's too subjective. There's no exact fact or or like it's 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 evolving. You know, language is language evolves. Um, Whereas math, like, it's all just, it's fact, you know, you're either, like, there's more than one way to solve a problem, but, like, you either have the answer or you don't. Um, um, even if there is uh, more than one way to do it or more than one solution, if you have a solution, it's a solution. Like, yeah. A lot of times with like English tests, they'll they'll ask like, which is more correct. There is nothing. There's no such thing in in any maths or science as more correct. Um. Um. Like that's one thing I hated about like English like test like SAT, uh, or, or or whatever ACT kind of uh, like language tests like that they're like okay here read through this thing uh which and then it gives you like uh uh like which of these words best uh describe like at the, it's subjective if you're asking the question which of these best like it's uh and more than one of them uh could be used and you're asking for best it's subjective um anyway that's that's the rant on that for for the day. Eh. A lot, a lot of like our equations and stuff are are like just oversimplifications um, uh, of reality, you know, because like because um, at that point you're getting you'll you'll get something that's like and, and the reason like stuff is like over engineered and stuff is like so you can simplify equations it's like okay you have an answer it is good enough. Um, you'll never get, like, exact, exact, because, like, you're adding too much complexity. Um, and it just becomes harder, if not impossible, to solve. Um, so you simplify it, get rid of terms that are negligible, uh, and you'll get an approximation that's close enough uh, for the purposes of what you're trying to do. But it's all based on the same logic. It's just the more complexity you add, the closer and closer you get to the actual reality. Um, none of it being wrong, just because you'll be right for the whatever you're using. It's just not actuality, if that makes any sense.
Um, Epistemology. <laughs> uh, that is a big linguistic word, and uh, quite honestly, I I don't know what it means. So, um, so that that's that's I don't know. Abby, we need him. Uh, uh, crap. Oh, I'm using Punisher too. Uh, this is the last one, uh, DTX. I'm hitting. The, I think that was the last fight, even. No, there's still a fight. At least a fight. Uh, this is the last round. I'm doing BGs after this. Or no, that was the first one. This is this is sorry. We got two more fights. Last round though. And then everything will be on cooldown. That I'm going to be dealing with on stream. I'll be doing more of this and five stars later on my own time, but BG's after this fight. <laughs> there we go. That's 15. Shazam! Yeah, I can't... Speaking of Arena, though, like, I, I knew... I was, I was talking about this earlier, but DTA, I don't, I don't know that you caught this. I, well, you might have, because this was a, quite some time, and you were in here earlier. Uh, Cook, well, that, that's actually not 100% surprising. Um, um, but Prowler went significantly lower... Uh, in arena than even Bullseye did. And Serpent. Serpent was also fairly high, but was, which one actually? Was Bullseye or Serpent higher? Um, Bullseye was higher. Or they actually, Bullseye and Serpent are were roughly the same. But round one is usually higher than round two, so I'm going in the round that would generally go lower. There's a slight chance it does go up because it was lower than the usual. But um, he went very low. Uh, he went for less than 110. Ooh, it's a good one. And then I'm fighting the fight around. Going under. Alright. That is that. We're gonna restart. We're gonna go. This will be the first time since I I changed the, the deck with a couple rank ups and stuff. That um that we've done any BGs, so let's uh, see what we got. Um, yeah, it's definitely a little bit different. It's, um, but I feel like he was the more hyped, or well, maybe not more, but like, I don't know, people were actually pretty excited about Spider-Punk too, but Prowler seemed like it, like people were more excited about though, honestly. Um, and I, I, that sounds about right. That is Mandisa, isn't it? It is! I was like, that does sound right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Once Seven Star Videos comes out, which is still probably a waste from that, but, um, like, dang! Um, I imagine we don't see Seven Star Arenas till we hit, uh, rank, till rank fours are a thing. Um, which is, we're probably a little ways out of. Um, so. Yeah, so I, I, I imagine once um, 
rank fours, not like once they're immediately available, but once they become like a more like common thing, so not as in like more people have more than one of them, but like once more like a majority of people are able to have gotten at least one of them, um, like commonly, uh, that then we'll might see a seven star arena at that point. I, I can imagine. Um, <laughs> rank five eight stars. No. Uh, where are we? Uh, battlegrounds. All right. So we're on a nine win streak. And uh, let's uh, see how this goes. A uh, quick look at the deck. Um, uh, sure. Is uh, pretty filthy. We have. Uh, three. Rank five, not ascended. The rest are rank twos, rank threes, or ascended rank fives. Pretty wild. To end the win streak? Nah. This is a serious matter. It's like every, every major like college language department just message all of them to come up with a word. See if any come up. If if more than one, like if they come up with like the same term, um, uh, and be like, um. Yeah. Yeah, Chavez Chavez went up. I did right do Domino to the to the rank three. That is the thing I did. Cause when she is duped, <laughs> she's gonna be juicy. Uh no, that was with Catalyst. Um I use I use cats on her. Ooh, I I kind of want him to draft. Um, actually, no, leave you. I'm gonna get rid of that. Um, yeah, I've got I've got four rank threes now. Two to three, six. Nine, yeah, because once she is awakened, like I can sig that sucker and be like, oh yeah. Um, let's. Uh, Oh man, he banned like my best counters to Maestro. That's sucky. Well, he banned those guys. He also doesn't have those guys, so oh, he immediately gets CGR. Lovely. Shield, yeah. Pretty, pretty filthy. All right, that works. do this. Yeah, let's go take that. Dang. Oh, I'm actually almost more glad he took that over the bullseye. Okay. Uh, Iron Fist for Abman or Hookbuster for Guardian? Guardian's gonna be so busted, I don't think the Hulkbuster really needs it. Um, I would say at that point, I don't think either of them are like particularly amazing relics. I would say whichever one has the higher prestige. Um, 
That was not intentional. I was not paying attention. Um, that's totally fine. Fine. I think I lose this one though. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Ah, oh, friggin'. Uh, that cost it me. Frickin'. Ah, uh, it cost me them round! Ah. Uh, uh, Hulkling or Herc? Uh, if you have content left to do, Herc. Uh, Battlegrounds, Hulkling. Uh, if you still have, like, content, I would, I would say Herc, but... Battlegrounds, Hulkling. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, that 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 cost me this this match 100%. Oh, that's so helpful. That is so helpful. Okay. Um Yeah, her, uh, her will definitely. If you're pushing Paragon, her will be more useful. Oh, I can't believe I botched that that hard. Okay, dude. You are being, like, super aggro. I don't think he's doing Serpent, though, to be fair. Like, I just don't see it happening, so <laughs> we should be okay. <laughs> but Werewolf, yeah, that that's... Dude, Werewolf is just stupid. That makes perfect sense. Oh, that was brutal. Yeah, that was... <laughs> oh, my gosh. Alright. 
Oh, this is gonna be interesting. Cause I know CGR can can do uh, onslaught, but this meta I think will be a little bit trickier. So I think we'll be okay. Uh, we're gonna use Starkey. It's a it's a low sig, so Starkey won't be too punished for it. Uh, it gives me onslaught. That's fine too. Okay, frickin' unbelievable. Unbelievable. Dude, I am getting no inputs. Um Calculated. Oh my gosh. Oh. I've gotten more zodes this season than I've ever gotten in any other season. Com uh, like, like already I've gotten more zodes this season than I get in any other season, like as a full season. And I've played 19 matches. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Whew. That was fantastic. Oh man. Holy crap. <laughs> oh man. That was just so bad. That has happened so much this season already in the few matches I have played. It's ridiculous. Oh my gosh. Whew. Yeah. Alright, I actually do not want to deal with a thing, so let's get that out. Whew. Oh, that's better. Whew. Man. Got rid of my pig. Interesting. Um. Oh man. Ooh. Yeah, no, this is fine. I was like, do I take Starkey? No, we didn't take Starkey. Oh, that was great. That was, uh, that was spectacular. You gotta avenge that guy. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, jeez. That was, that was great. That was great! I'm curious how well Monkey would work, will work on Photon. Bro. Bro. Got no counter to Maestro. This is great. I actually used that was the first time like in forever I've even used Maestro offensively. It's pretty great. Anyway. Oh, I'm taking you just because um, I'd rather that for onslaught. Okay. I think we're okay. Oh, that was great. Whew! Man. 
Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and take Photon. I don't even have to deal with that now. Dude, this is great. This is great. A quantum oil. It's also distinctly possible. Alright, let's, uh... Let's get some, uh... Clean! High health too. Beautiful. Ugh. What, my choices or his choices? Your Hulkling's dangerous. I mean, if you don't have a Hulkling as high ranked as you can get one for Battlegrounds, you're doing Battlegrounds wrong. Um, um, straight up. I may have taken five attackers in, in this lineup, but that doesn't matter. He's got no good option for Maestro, so I win. Um, uh, whew. I would have taken Havoc just fine. It would have been fine. Rintra sucks for Maestro. I could have I could have Chavez'd uh, have it. It would have been fine. You know what that health doesn't matter. Okay, what? Okay, get out of my face. Okay, well, I, I lost. <laughs> Dude, what was that? I parried into heavy and it got parried. What happens? What happens? What was that? I'm so confused. Hold on, we're gonna we're gonna go. Um, yeah, this this was a beautiful fight right there. Um, but this is what we're looking at. Uh, round three is is gonna be a bit rough. Like he's definitely done more damage than that, but I'm not winning this round. It's not gonna be a Zode. Um, so there's that, okay, bam. I parried, I, oh, I was so slow on that heavy. That, that's what cost me right there, though, I just straight up. Like, it, uh, I mean, yeah, I, yeah. If I, if I had actually dexed that, it would have been fine, but, whatever. Steve's gonna time out. How do I have the win in round three? I've got no defenders. He's got Nick Fury for defense. I can't kill Nick Fury that fast.
My only hope is that Hitmonkey is squishy, and, uh, well, he could also do that, so. Um. Ugh, man. Yep, it's over. It's <laughs> shrinking. Oh my gosh. Dude, bro. Early, oh my gosh. He's not done. Oh my gosh. At this rate, I am winning this. Oh. Unbelievable. People be struggling in this, like, nuked meta. They're just taking so much block damage. He timed out. See, and people keep saying, like, Titania's not a good defender. Like, she's tanky at rank 3. Doesn't need rank 3. Like, she's... At rank 3, she's a better defender because she's tanky. Um, anyway. <laughs> oh. That one was less satisfying um, of a win than... Than the than the Zode, to be honest, the Zode was more satisfying. Um, what the heck happened here? How the crap did that take that long? Whatever. Just a diamond one thing. I mean, that's distinctly possible too. Oh my gosh, like bro, bro. Streetkin too. That's wild, man. Uh, I should have won round two. I was like, ah, no defense left. It's fine. Um, it's totally fine. All right, who got the the ban? Okay, interesting. We're gonna take Domino. Put up 51 game, right? Dude, I've been playing terribly this season so far, and I've been winning. Like just straight up. Uh, it's it's slightly laughable. Slightly, mind you. Not like 100%, but slightly. Oh, yes. I think we ought to do... Sure. Oh, man. It's too funny. Who did he ban? Okay, we're fine. 
Oh man. Oh, that's ridiculous. That was the one you should take. Okay, cool. Noise. I haven't fought the mids in a while. It's not really fair. Alright, I'm curious how well he does the fight. This is a very fast fight. Um, if he does it, like, clean. It's very easy to get clipped trying to do, like, an intercept or something. And if you aren't doing that, it's going to take longer, so. Um. Shuri. Well, that was peculiar. Okay. Alright, well, that's weird. I guess he was. I don't know. There's a slight chance that we can. Um, That's going to be cutting it really close. That's a win. Alright. That was clean. Heck yeah, baby. Get wrecked, son. Though he did the fight fairly well, but I think I think I win. I think we're okay. I think we win, especially with that. That was that was a bit picky there, but whatever. He's still trying to snipe me. Dude, I am botching fights, like, left and right. I was like, yeah, let me just go for the... Yeah, anyway. I was stupid. I mean, we still probably won this anyway. Just on the time it's going to take him to do that with Hulk. But, um... And he's going to lose some health. Probably. Like, assuredly, he's gonna lose them out. Yeah, and he died. Okay. Oh, I just went three for three. 
yeah, we are we're 21 matches into this season. Uh, I've won 18 of them, which is good. Like that's great. How? What percentage is that? What are, what are, what kind of win percent are we at? We're 18 out of 21. Um, it's an 85 percent win rate at the moment. It should be a lot lower because I've played awful. I have played atrociously. Ugh. Let's see, I'm probably not going to play tomorrow. Um, just kind of depends on the grind goes. Should should we try and hit uh, vibranium right now? That's intentional, DTX, because like I want to have the high win rate with the Elder's Marks to get the score up. It, it's 8 o'clock right now, or about to be. Um, I'll, do, I'll do one more. I'll do another one. I'll do one more. Um, I need to keep the amount of matches I do like in line so like I have the highest win rate in the victory track as possible um because that's like unfortunately like, like not even like the majority of, of matches with elders anymore because they've shortened the victory track so much um because it's minimum 27 matches nerd v2 or bus DTX with the okay hold on a second hold on a second let's uh I am not threatened by any of this. Let's go ahead and just get rid of these guys. Okay. Um. All right. All right. Uh. You know, I'm gonna take him because I, I took him up. So we're gonna I'm gonna take him. Um. Let's uh hold on. Let's let's get the uh. The dono up there with five dollars DTX. Thank you very much. Um, all right, fine, we'll do, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll do, <laughs> we'll do two more. <laughs> so we'll at least have the chance of going to, uh, uh, well, not vibrating too. That would, that would require an extra, like, I can't go that long. I need, I need to get food. Um, but we'll hit vibrating three. How's that? Yeah. Uh, we'll try to at least. Oh man. A torch. Interesting. CGR, perfect. Perfection. Get clapped. Um, but I'll, I'll do this match and one more. Win or lose. Uh, so we might not actually hit Vibranium, because I, I need to get myself some food. Um, and I've got more arena that's going to need taken care of. But I will... For your generosity, do at least the two. Um. That domino is only slightly scary. Really? What is it with people and and thinking Abs Man is like a good defender? Um, when I have a Kate. Because he's not. 
<laughs> um, he's just straight not like he's yeah. Anyway, and it's not even a hard like good match up. Like it's super easy to do. like virtually identical every time. Other side of the country? It's ten o'clock for you right now? Yeah, it's it's getting late. Like I started late. I've been going for five and a half hours though, GTS. <laughs> five and a half hours! Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's that was anyway. Like that's ascended too. Like 40 44 seconds. Like she he dies so fast. Anyway. Anyway. Yeah, not not a problem in the slightest. Uh, not at all in the slightest, no. It is not, not good enough, no. You are the redeemed. Alright, he probably uses Archangel. Oh, he does use the torch there, which is actually preferred. Okay. Um, yeah, that's preferred. Okay. How did I do that in front of you? Dude, I hate that medium and then it won't let me dex. Unbelievable. fine yeah I was, I was losing that one totally fine but I can CGR now or um, yeah CGR anybody puts down so. um, which is fine you can also CGR what I put down but it's all good <laughs> I knew CGR wouldn't do that particularly well because I know how, uh, how Weapon X works. Um, 
Uh, yeah, he also has the wrong one. That's not that big a deal, though. Because you can't do the rotation with CGR, get that special two off. Uh, it's it's and like combo out after it. Like he's gonna be in his mode, and then you're you're not gonna be able to you're not gonna be able to kill him. Um, anyway. Uh, see, this is part of like I knew. If he had used Torch instead of Archangel in that previous matchup, I wouldn't have been able to do that. I still would have been able to CGR whatever he put down, um, but he could have Archangeled Weapon X instead of trying to do that, which would have put it, made it a lot closer. I don't know if he still would have won. Uh, it would have been cutting it close, because I did that now. I still probably would have won. There's no way Archangel does it in 29 seconds. Um... But he would have had a better shot of it, at least. So. Ugh, do we go five for five? Let's find out. Cow bad, yeah. I mean, he had an ascended archangel, so. Alright, let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. Let's get rid of the arc. Or get rid of the. Yeah. Anyway, this will be fine. This will be fun. Uh, let's take, uh, let's take this dude. Right? No, we're gonna I'm gonna take, uh, I'm gonna take this dude. For a second there, I was like, no, but then I was like, yeah, and then I was like, yeah. Uh, anyway. Uh, let's take you. Let's take, uh, take you. And we'll take, uh, we'll take you. All right, let's take. Oh, I should try that again, shouldn't I? Maybe not. Ah, dang it. Oh well. Poor devil, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? Alright, what do we got? We got options, okay. Uh, that is options, okay. Uh, you know what else is options? <laughs> Spider him! Dang, chances are he probably takes sure. Yeah, I knew it. Fudge. That is exactly what I didn't want him taking, to be honest. That's alright, though. It's alright. It's a... Uh, I mean, even at rank 3, it's going to be a somewhat slow matchup. So let's go... Um, let's start with the Photon. Here's the red skill. Abs man it. Bit unfortunate, but what are you gonna do? It's a photon the photon. Wow. I was like, yeah, no, that was a terrible idea. I actually prefer that he does that. I'd rather fight the photon than the fam at the moment. Uh, I need to remember I can actually push this dude to special twos. I knew that was happening.
see, since the gym had, uh, yeah, you can always know what we found. Yeah, right? Yeah, because they're not always. That was actually uh, close on time. I mean, it's 12 seconds, but anyway. Anyway. See what happens. Alright, what do we do? What do we do? Let's be fine. Alright, he's gonna Chavez this, but I'm I'm curious how well it's gonna go. Start with. Uh, we're gonna back up and do. This is the crits we're looking for, man. Freaking. Thirty-one set. That was not ascended, was it? No, it was rank five ascended. What the crap, man, dude? That was filthy on the number of crits. Um. You know, did he not have stat focuses? Uh, I can't tell from here. That's lame. Um, that that was so fast. <laughs> oh, there you go, DTX. We're in vibranium now. Um, I don't have the capsule, so that's what you get. Um, we we got. Oh. <laughs> wow, I'd report. I don't know. Whatever. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that was uh, that was. We just went five for five straight. Um, so that was what twenty twenty three matches then we've done for the season, bro. Bro. Oh, that's pretty filthy. Pretty filthy. So we're 20 and 3 for the season now. Uh, snipe time. I'm not going to do another ranked one. If you would like, I will friendly you though, DTX. I appreciate the two dollars. <laughs> uh, seven, seven dollars for DTX. If you would like to match, I won't do a rank. I will friendly you though for the, um, for the generosity. <laughs> if you would like, uh, there we go. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go. But then I'm done. I'm leaving after this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, got this. We got this. Oh, uh, all right. Show me what you got. That's going. That's gone. That's going. That's gone too. Um, you know what? That's gone too. Get out of here with that. That's garbage. The rest is fine. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's go. Not the Chavez! Jerk. Ugh. 
Oh, you took the double massacre, dude. Very nice. That's a choice. Good choice. That's the choice. Oh heck yeah, we're taking that, bro. Who who's who's voting DTX gets clapped? Um who 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 takes who takes that uh those odds? Take, we'll take bets. <laughs> Voting for DTX. Psh, this is my channel. I need to see, like, how punishing the, um, the whatchamacallit is. Marked a choice that one was. All right, we're gonna start you off with the Nick. Go easily now, dude. We're going, we're going full hardcore on this one. Give me that. Like, bro. If we if we get clap crapped on inputs here, we'll we'll have a little bit of a rough time, but it should be okay. I think we should be able to just like basically one shot this dude. Dude, we're like freaking What was that? Ascended, right? Yeah. I was like, <laughs> kind of figured, but I was like, Chavez could one shot this, I think. Just going straight special too. That was actually probably a lot of overkill. Probably could have done that in less hits. So look at that wasted like 10 seconds at the start though. Like, us going back and forth on the, like, the shallow decks. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> what the heck? Oh man. What the heck is that? Stupid. Stupid. Uh. See how this goes. 
mid sack right. Wow, okay. That was stupid. That was so dumb. I was 100% going to win that until that happened. <laughs> huh? Uh, yeah. It's fine. Yeah, what's up, Toof? Uh. Oh, brother, brother. No, I need I need the pig for offense. I need the pig for offense. What you on about? At thirty million, nice. I hit uh, hit twenty five in in a single go. Okay. What the heck was that? That was so bad. Oh, we clutched it out! GG's DTX! <laughs> GG's! Oh, that was close. That was perfectly calculated, though. I should have had you round two. Uh. Round two was mine to to lose though, and I lost it. Um, like you, you, if I didn't mess that up, you stood zero shot at winning that one. Like absolutely zero. Twenty nine seconds, and I have ninety nine percent health. Like th there was nothing you could do, um, bro. That was so bad. Ah, so bad. All right, I'm calling it there. Uh, let's see, is, uh, is Abdo on? Let's, uh, let's have a look see. What do we got? Oh, Max is going. Oh, we're raiding Max. Heck yeah. Let's go. Let's go. We're raiding Max. Um, all right. Let's, uh, he's doing BGs. The... Uh, Bam. Uh, yeah, another time. Yawn, rat. <laughs> Shut up. All right. Um, but thank you again, DTX, for the the five dollar and two dollar for the seven dollar. Um, uh, it's awesome. Yawn, rat wheels. No. Um, so Max doing BGs, show him some love, supports. I've been going six hours, so I gotta get some food, and then before I head up back into the arena for a while, so. Uh, 
thank you guys so much for today. It's been a pleasure. Uh, I'll catch y'all around. Uh, have yourselves a great night, and I'll see you around. Peace.